Hello, internet friends. I was just doing a little studying. Welcome to Quests and Cthulhu. Thank you so much for spending part of your geek end with us. Oh, it's Saturday. Tonight's episode is aptly titled, We're Not Gonna, let's see, what we're not gonna do is get in trouble on a moving vehicle. And I promise you that all that will happen today is that they are going to get in trouble on a succession of moving vehicles. Uh, we have a few quick announcements and then we'll dive right in. Uh, first, as is tradition, beer. Our good friends at Gordon Biersch, for now, are, uh, uh, we're glad to enjoy their lovely product. Uh, we have a f uh, Birds of Paradise, the official dice of me trying to get them to blow up a blimp. You can use the code, it's chaotic, right? You chaotic. I remember, that. you can use the code chaotic to get uh, your Birds of Paradise of your very own. It would be, uh, uh, you know, they make lovely gifts. Probably, I don't know. Uh, actually, Rachel sent some as a birthday present to a friend. Uh, I wonder if he rolled them, uh, killing, well, they were playing online. So, you know, it was, it, that sort of thing. Um, so Birds of Paradise, our good friends, uh, Nord Games, who have been uh, uh, friends of ours for a long time. They, uh, yep. uh, a couple people in the chat were talking about, there we go, yeah. They're, I'm, I'm gonna have to figure out how those work. <laughs> you don't, you don't need any no. help. Just, just, um, just the luck deck. We don't, we don't really use the other ones very there often. You go. Uh, and uh, uh, you can get 20% off of Nord Games stuff uh, using our a code that we have that I'm sure is showing up in your chat as we speak. Um, we have a full, once again, a full week of, uh, of not regularly scheduled entertainment. On Monday, super exciting, we start a new, I guess it's a campaign. It's, yeah. I mean, if it's, we should just say it's a one shot and it's going to go on for a year. You know, it's, uh, we, uh, we are starting a new campaign. Uh, I think one of the things I think is really cool is that James, James Arano is returning to the GM chair to uh uh to to hopefully kill lots of you i'm very excited about that it is um it is a new 5e product uh dragon of ice fire peak there's only one dragon so just kill the dragon and go home i mean it's we sick. start as first level characters well you know <laughs> i've been oh, told we can can't do tell me what negotiate you can with that do. dragon i mean dragons are intelligent uh who's the cast on that one? who's the cast oh, wait hold on i'm gonna guess tiana yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about. Tiana, my, Rachel, the other day, Rachel goes, Tiana's the only constant. <laughs> <laughs> Tiana's on everything. Uh, that was Rachel's joke. I want to give Rachel credit. I don't, I don't steal material. Uh, so, so you and James is running. Who else is playing? Nick. Julie's playing. Julie. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nick's playing. Yep. Or Nick was pointing at Tom. I can't tell which. But. No, I was pointing at me. This is, this is there. Now there's no confusion. <laughs> Nice. Yes. Uh, so that starts Monday, and that will run every Monday until James has had enough and flees. So two, three weeks, I'm guessing. Uh, four, four at the outside with 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 this cast of characters. Yeah. Uh, uh, so that that's going to be you know probably an ongoing campaign the way that uh, the way that we play. Um, and then Tuesday, one night only, never to happen again. I will be running. Dungeons and Dragons. It is on Tuesday, the Dark Vision Song Contest. It is a mitten. It is an all bard mitten. Every character will be a bard. Uh, there will be, so far, the cast as I know it is Tiana because. Uh, <laughs> Julie. It, look, it's Tuesday. It's, it, it's, it, it's the, the Chaos Agents Day of the Week. We were the first ones. Uh, Bo and James. And I think we're. We're we're figuring out who else is going to join up, but those are those are the four that are scheduled to appear right now. Uh, it will be glorious silliness, and um, I only sort of know what I'm doing, so uh, that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is Tuesday, and then Saturday we'll be yeah. back here with uh, the Great Dane Society as always. I think that's everything. Oh, uh, we have a uh, yeah. we have a uh, we have a giveaway. We are yep. giving away 
another set of Libris Arcana dice. These are orange, and apparently they are called Libris Arcana. And Tiana, who uh, who also gets the, the Lib- she's got them right there. That's a nice shade of orange. I like that. Look, really it's pretty. thing or no it. That was no thing. Thing was the hand, thing. right? Thing. The Adam's yes. family. Thing. Yeah. We just saw Thomas's hand like skitter across. <laughs> uh, so we'll be giving those away at the break. Um, it'll be hashtag chaos at the break. I want to do it hashtag break at the chaos. Be- Ooh, you're gonna be doing that every five minutes. <laughs> five minutes, man, you're optimistic. Uh, so so you're you're like you inside and- uh, this, my friends, this is episode 52. We have done 52 weekly episodes of our shenanigans so this is sort of our this is our fake one year anniversary uh we've been doing this for a year worth of episodes you know we took we took a four month vacation i had to go to a sanitarium for several months uh (laughs) but uh uh it has been great playing with you guys and it will continue to be great playing with you guys i I really uh look forward to this every saturday uh and it will be great someday to actually play in the same room as you that will be mm-hmm. it, it might not be till episode 104 but you know it's yeah. i someday. really hope that's not the case oh god please no please someday no. we'll all we'll all be sitting six feet apart in the studio with like fans blowing at each of us it'll we'll all sound like julie's old mic <laughs> <laughs> i mean i mean you joke but that's kind of how critical role is doing it for them to be back in studio single yeah. table six feet apart yeah yeah well you know um so Yay for that, that we, uh, uh, we have been doing this for 52 episodes. Uh, and here's to another 52. And once again, someday in person. Uh, I think, uh, Amy, Cheers. you want to flip some numbers here? All right. Um, it looks like nothing new has come in. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to group them together accordingly. Um, Tamagotora at the top gave the players 500 bits. Thank and then you. the last one that came in was for Ezra, 500 bits. Also from Tamago Tour, I'm assuming? Yes, yep, as well. Um, then Lonely Yeti, 312, 1,000 to the players. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Kindly. Nice. Yep, and of course, Squirrel. Yay! Yay! Our Thank you. <laughs> yep. you know, That's Twitch. why I talk so loud during your games. <laughs> she was... She was playing, she's playing a, a traveler game with some friends over uh, fantasy ground or something. And I could hear <laughs> when she was, when she was starting, she goes, you'll probably hear Ezra during this because he's really loud. That's that science fiction RPG, right? Yes. Yeah. My favorite thing about travel. Well, okay. Two favorite things about traveler. One, this is the one everybody says you can die during character creation, which I think is hilarious. What? Uh, yeah. 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 But the second thing, the Rachel and I were talking about this, Traveler came up with this incredibly stupid idea called a UPP. And what it is, is it's a stat block for every character, but it's just a string of numbers. So it looks like, you know, your social security number. But that, and so what it allows them to do is when they print uh, modules, they don't have these like page long stat blocks. It's just a quick line and um, it's utterly useless, but they really love it. Uh, uh, and it's, it's not even, the funny thing is it's like not even uh standard, what is, oh God, what is the. Okay. So squirrel on the run is now just in here. Just well, actually in you right now. Saying Whoa! UPP, I... UPP is expressed in his hexadecimal. Oh, well that's efficient. That makes sense. No, it's not. It's ridiculous. A, um, Nobody knows hexadecimal, so like people are looking at it and going, "What the hell?" Yeah, wait, what is? Hold on. Who does it? Know? Everyone's computers <laughs> are using Google hexadecimal. <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> this is a new segment we're starting. Amy Google's things. I think I, I think that's actually kind of how I started the show. Googling a lot. <laughs> I want uh, I want like we need a we need a jingle for Amy Amy Google's things. Mm-hmm. I am a oh. just, just uh, what is what does autocomplete turn hexadecimal into? <laughs> yeah, okay. Numbers re- it's representing numbers using a base of 16. Who yeah. thought that was a great idea? Computers. Yeah, yeah, computers thought it was a great idea. Okay. Thomas just told a hexadecimal joke in the chat. Oh. Yes. 
I don't get it. What does that mean? Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Get out here and explain yourself. So in the, on the internet, they use codes like that to, uh, to list colors. So as you know, yeah. when you make a website, know, you're like, yeah, you know, I know that because you get RGB hex, your, your hex, your <laughs> RGB oh, or man. your CMY, CMYK. I want, uh, I, I want to bet Seth on this. Seth just said, I'm the only person who doesn't know hexadecimal. Seth, may I introduce you to Amy, who oh, is actually, currently Googling hexadecimal. This is what Thomas's favorite color is right here. That's, yeah. As black as his heart? Yeah. What? No, no it's, it's gray. gray. It's just gray. I couldn't tell. <laughs> so um, I will be, uh, I will be translating all of my dice rolls tonight into hexadecimal. Oh no. Oh, they're not. That's fine. Please don't. <laughs> You've only got one bit, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Um, so, uh, oh, I want to. I want to actually get the GI Joe moment done early because this one was I liked. Um, As opposed been, to all the ones you hate. <laughs> yeah. Well, because uh, I get to humble brag. Uh, so. Mm -hmm. I've started like, uh, not started, but as I, I watch something while I exercise every day, I have something on my computer and I've been watching Community. And in the fifth season of Community, there's a G.I. Joe episode where they all get sucked into the cartoon G.I. Joe. And like uh, uh, the best part of the episode is the very beginning where it's a G.I. Joe battle. So there's all these shots going on and nobody's hitting anything. And Destro's plane gets shot down. And like good G.I. Joe stuff, he's in a parachute. And then one of the community characters just blows his parachute away. And Destro falls to his death. And the entire battle stops. And everyone's like, oh my god, he's dead! Because someone died in a G.I. Joe battle. <laughs> ah, it's great. And then later on, they meet one of the characters from the community show. And his G.I. Joe name is Fourth Wall which I think is outstanding. Mm -hmm. Let me guess, was it Abed? Yeah, because he knows he's in a cartoon. Yes. Yeah. So yes. His, his yes. G.I. Joe name is, is Fourth Wall. Uh, it's, so it's called, it's called G.I. Jeff, but it's, it's in the fifth season. It's on Netflix. It is a, a very funny homage to all things G.I. Joe. Uh, it also features the only funeral G.I. Joe has ever had, as Destro's funeral is a, is a scene in the, in the show. Uh, all right, cool. Well, uh, so last time, some things were were said. Some, you know, some uh, some curses were triggered, all that sort of thing. So uh, we started off. You guys used the portal. To, you decided to use the portal to go to DC and and not do the um, not do the, the the ritual in Cairo. Um, unfortunately, Carl Stanford's curse came into play. And Donald sent the portal machine and Yusef and Dr. Kafur uh, over to Carl Stanford. And I, I want to, there was, um, we talked about this a little bit on the Discord, but I want to shout out. Uh, so when Tom and I came up with the idea, I, I emailed Tom and I'm like, you're going to get cursed, but you know, player agency is super important to me. And so I wanted to work with Tom to figure out what it was. And so um, what I said was, you know, at some point you're going to do something terrible to the group, but you decide what it is. And I, you know, I was just waiting. I sit and wait. And last week's game, a little chat message pops up and I can barely see the chat messages. So I, I, I was only sort of paying attention. Um, and Tom sends me a chat saying, hey, should I get rid of the portal machine? Should that be my curse? And I'm like, what a great idea. Yes. Uh, and so, A, as, if you're a GM and don't, if you're doing curses and stuff like that, let your players come up with things. Trust them to uh, do bad things to, to, to themselves because it make A, they know their characters better than you do. B, it has real stakes for them. And it, in, and it, it, it folds your players back into the story. Uh, it's uh, uh, I, I, it's something that I think is is super important. Player agency. Uh, it's why you know uh, people joke like, oh, nobody's gonna die, nobody ever dies. And to me, like that's a a character death or a character departing the show. That's a that's a choice. That's like a conversation with the character. 
to decide if it's dramatically appropriate in a campaign, in a one shot, kill them all, they're kindling. Uh, but so, you know, and, and kudos to Tom, Tom, you took that and you ran with it. And that's, you know, that's, as a GM, that's what you hope for. We're also really good at screwing over the story. We're kind of experts at that. So yeah. it wasn't yeah. difficult for us to yeah. do, but- This time uh, you did it on purpose. Yeah. That was the, yeah, that the, was the right part moment. there. Uh, so yeah, you, uh, it, after some shenanigans and uh, you met, uh, uh, you met an old friend at the, uh, uh, at, at the DC headquarters and um, you, Professor Aldridge was there working with uh, Agent Rogers. She's apparently one of their, uh, one of their arcanists. And um, you, uh, you got tickets on a very exclusive trip. You got a blimp ticket. So you are currently taking a Zeppelin across the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, it, um, you left on Friday and the next morning, you were awoken, as always, um, by your butler who comes in with a very cheery good morning and uh, gets your breakfast orders so that they're ready if you don't want to have breakfast out in the dining room. Um, and then at breakfast, there was uh, a little bit of a commotion as uh, Count Van Doyen, who uh, Professor Lamb had met the night before, was yelling at uh, some of the staff. And uh, unfortunately, none of you speak German, so you don't know what he was on about. Uh, and and the staff is far too um, politely uh, circumspect to to uh, really say anything. So you have uh, um, you know you it, you went through there, and it's now lunchtime on uh, it is Saturday, May 9th. and so um, you are on this blimp, and basically at um, once breakfast is done, and once once meals are done, they clear the tables, and then they're card there. You know you can play cards, you can do whatever. There are, um, there are about 25 passengers on this blimp. That's pretty small. Wow, it's, and five, and five well, of you them know, are the us. The cabin is not that big. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, before, before, Amy, before, the, before Amy starts Googling things, yes, the first transatlantic uh, Zeppelin ride was not until 1928, but also... People don't ride flying snakes, so we'll call it even. And and also, also everything where that was true, the the universe where that was true is the one that uh, Emma. Blew yeah, up. I blame Emma. So. For <laughs> any any historical facts that are wrong here are Emma's fault. Actually, we should blame the Baroness because she just gave fifteen hundred bits to the Dark Pharaoh to mess with everyone. Oh so man, I that equates to Ezra. Well, the Dark Pharaoh might have to show up this episode then. Our stacks are even now. This saddens me. All right. Uh, at lunch, I thought you loved me. <laughs> well, if, after breakfast, if it's okay, I'd like to uh, take some time to. I figure now that we're settled in, I can take some time and, and speak with Donald and check up on how he's doing and how he's healing. Sure. Yeah. Uh, is this? Are you trying first aid, medicine, psychotherapy? What is? Uh, psychotherapy <laughs> under the guise of medicine. All right. I want to uh, see how he's doing. So make me a psychoanalysis role. He's having breakfast with everybody else, I assume, who is, who's at breakfast. He's not by himself. Right, right. yeah, yeah. So right. after breakfast, you guys repair to one of the staterooms to have a lovely discussion. I lost that dice. Oh. Never getting it back. Okay, uh, hard success. Oh, nice. All right. So, um, so Donald, you are actually like, very soothed by this conversation and oh. you like you know you you feel like um one of the things that comforts you about this is that uh you know dr hollister works in this program that you have just hamstrung and he's here kind of telling you hey look it's okay everything's you know like this this sort of thing happens and that that really kind of assuages some of your guilt um, and you'll actually get a uh, one sanity back immediately. Uh, if this is an ongoing thing, you'll actually get more sanity back um, if you spend this time. But that's going to take. Oh, I just fell down. Uh, that's going to be a, a more ongoing process. The joys of living in a house with a kitten. Yeah. Random. Yeah, so it, it sounds like if it, if it's if it seems to be helping, and Donald feels good about this, he trusts Hollister. 
he can tell Alistair the truth. Okay. Like anybody else. So he, he'll probably uh, agree to make this a regular, a daily occurrence during our voyage and to hash out some of these issues that Donald's been holding back on. Nice. All right. That's yeah. Great. And this is a perfect time to do it. I mean, when we're all relaxing and no one's causing any trouble. Well, and 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 I and I was actually going to ask if I if I could do the same and have Alexandria uh, have chats with Dr. Hollister if his time isn't too occupied with Donald. Oh, my my cabin is always open. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So that'll be the afternoon. That'll be your afternoon appointment. Um, at lunch, everybody, give me a spot hidden roll. Ooh. Ah, in the box. Ooh. Oh. No, I'm, uh, I'm critical success. Wow. Damn. Critical success. Just so you know, I dropped the dice that I typically use that, that crit fumble, and I'm using a different set right now. Oh, man. Keep Good. these. No, I want to find my up. bad dice. No. No, 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 no. no. Sit no. your butt down. No. Uh, we'll this see time. what the rolls are like pre-baked, post-break. Well, that was the roll. That was the roll that you made it right away. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Dr. Hollister, you notice, um, once again, the Count is uh, is sort of causing not quite a commotion, but he's going around and and looking uh, for things. And, and everybody who makes the role notices that with the Count. Okay. Dr. Hollister, you in particular notice that one of the staff is kind of shadowing him the whole time. Mm. Like, you know could be like keeping him out of trouble, could be listening to everything he does, could be trying to kill him, you know, could be anything. I don't know if uh, trying to uh, kill him. I'm gonna rule that one out. Just I wanna wave at him and say hi. Hmm. At the count? Yeah. He's my buddy. All right. Um, they did strike it off pretty well. He's, yeah, all right. So he he will, he'll come over and he'll, he'll to your table and he'll say, ah, ah fine. Um, it is uh, it is lovely to see you again. I hope that uh, this evening you will once again be on the dance floor. Oh, that would be great. Are you gonna be you gonna be okay? Yes, yes. I have just uh, uh, yes. I'm just uh, working well, with the staff on a small problem. Oh well, if you want to talk later, we can talk. Um, that um, thank you. That is very kind. You're welcome. Um, make a, Joan, make a, make a first aid roll. I just made it. All right. Um, um, he's got like bags under his eyes. He's looking a little tired. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. maybe, uh, you know, he's sweating a little, you know. Oh man. It's like, you don't look good. You don't look good, Count. I'm worried about you. Ah, no, I... Mm, I Not sleeping well on the blimp? Um, you could say this, yes. Uh, please, excuse me. And he goes back to, um, like, he's kind of, uh, now that you're, now, you know, now you're all sort of watching him, he's kind of not very subtly, like, looking at every table, kind of, like, casing who's there. He's looking at the pe so he's not looking for something. Some, he's looking for he's someone. looking at the people. Ah, people. Yes, huh. he's looking at the people, uh, and, oh, well, I'm not and the staffer who's with him is like um, is is sort of trying to like get him to stop doing it. Doctor Hollister, do you have any um, muscle relax relaxants on you? Mer relaxants. 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 He's already had a couple. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't recommend uh, taking morphine just to relax, though. No, that man is trouble with his squirrely eyes, looking around. He's nothing but trouble on this blimp. We need he to knock his out. Put him to bed. Let him sit in his room. No trouble. Uh, some kind of sleep, sleeping potion. Sleep aid. Yeah, yeah. Some sleep aid. Some sleep aid. That sounds like us creating an incident. <laughs> no, it's not. Not if somebody slips no, it into explicitly. brandy. <laughs> Joan. <laughs> Oh. No, 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 no. I'm not. I, he just I'm not. goes to bed. No, no. Trouble. But we could offer if we had something. I'd offer it to him. This has been a delightful lunch. I'm gonna head back to my cabin. Uh, actually, I wanted to. I wanted to chat with you, uh, Doctor Hollister, if I could. Of course. Uh, yeah. All right. Make a psychoanalysis roll again. I've used up all the good ones. I'm sorry. No! Don't say that. <laughs> 
You know what's really fun? A fumble on a psychoanalysis. Oh, oh God, no, it's a hard success. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. My creaky sanity thanks you. Uh, so yeah, Tiana, similarly, uh, you know, um, it's not, you get one sanity back. Um, and, and it's, you know, this is more sort of establishing the relationship and the rapport that will allow the conversations that will get you to the point of getting some, some serious, uh, things going back. But, um, you're, you're very impressed with Hollister's sort of almost detached professionalism. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a good you know good setup. It's a, um, it's a, it's a good start. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, so uh, unless anything bits. else is going on, you know, we'll. Oh, what's up, Amy? Yeah, Five hundred bits from Vindica Sean. So before we move on to other other weird and strange things that are going to happen, because nobody <laughs> wants to drug the count with me. Where are my bad dice? Where did they no! Drug the when we're doing psychoanalysis dude, stuff, don't dude, fumble on us. Dude, well, they've dude, already been done, so dude. now it's time to switch over. Oh, to no, 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 no. You got what you got, because that's what you how, got. How, how many days are we going Are we going to cover today? We need, and, and we'll be doing psycho stuff. Just, you're good. You're good. You got what you got. You're good. All right. Um, Play some cards. So, yeah, yeah, the, you know, there's there's an afternoon of cards, and it's it's very calm and soothing. Um, it's actually a lovely way to travel when you're not bursting into flames. Uh, and, uh, it, it is, it is very soothing. There's, um, there's pretty much constant light alcohol, wine, champagne, brandy. Hmm. Um, the, they are, uh, you guys didn't pay for this, but the people that did pay for this paid a lot for this. This is, this is first class travel all the way. Sweet. Yeah, I'll, well, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll come out and join the 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 card game after Dr. Hollister and I are are done, and I'll you know grab a glass of wine and settle in. Sure, I'll, sweet. I'll, I'll come back out as well, and uh, and relax some. Okay. Um, dinner comes around at dinner. Um, there is a little bit of a commotion as uh one of the waiters drops an entire tray of food, just crash. Uh, oh. And um, they are immediately very apologetic, and they start cleaning stuff up. And they're uh, uh, um, and uh, uh, you know, new new food is brought out. Um, the count is not at dinner. Hmm. Hmm. And then after dinner, they clear the tables. the The little four piece band starts playing, and there is dancing. Uh, and it's you know uh, into the into the evening there is a, a a lovely little cocktail party. Oh yeah, I'd go grab whatever nice things I have to wear. Sure. Yeah. And yeah. No. No. Yeah. No you count? guys are you guys are um, uh, the, severely. You guys are not dressed well for this event. That is. No. I got what I got. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 are, are there any are there any songs that that uh, that are like the ones that I was working on with with the, with the jazz band on the on the ship? Anything that I can like quietly sing along to? Sure, yeah. Not not like, not like making a show of it, but just in, enjoying the music and singing to it. Yeah, sure. Um, actually, oh wow, okay. So, um, one of the one of the musicians will actually hear you and invite you to like sing with them. Yes. Do it. Okay. Do so it. I'll, I'll 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 be like. Okay. Have... All right. Make a make a sing roll. Yeah. It's been a while since you gotten a check in that one. Yeah. Hot one. <gasps> all right. Um, they want you to sing all the time with them. They have a great time. Uh, you have a great time. You get another sanity back from, you know, finding your center. And this is one of the first times that you have felt comfortable singing. And they like um the 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 little band. Um, does a great job of modulating songs to your new timber uh, mm -hmm. and uh, your new your new your new uh, range, and um, you you end up singing like a half dozen songs. Oh with, man, and it's just it's um, that whiskey alto, right? Yeah, <laughs> and and like um, they they finally have to be like, oh, sorry, it's we're we're <sighs> tomorrow tomorrow. But 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 no count, no count, no count. The count is not at no, he is not out. Did Emma drug him? 
I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, I, while, while you're singing these beautiful songs, and I'd love to hear you. I'm going to go mm -hmm. see if I can find the count. I, he I'd said love he to hear you, but I'm going to go. I'm yeah, going to go get fine. him and bring him back. Don't do um, it. So, yeah, you can find the count's room. Yeah. Uh, I saw him slam the door. I mean, there's not that many rooms. Uh, so you, uh, are you just going to knock on the door? Or yeah, you... I'm just going to knock and say, okay. count. <laughs> just um, there is no response. Yeah. You don't hear anything. Oh, well, maybe he's sleeping. I'll, I'll, I'll I'm not going to make a big deal out of it, but I wanted to, I wanted to see if he'd come out. All right. Um, anything else anybody wants to do tonight? Go back and listen to her sing. Yeah, yep. just relax. Have a good time. Yeah, it is. It is a lovely night. Um, and and actually, uh, I'm gonna give everybody one sanity from Alexandra's. Yes. Like you know, so you all get one yes. sanity back from um one of the first like fun. Nothing's blowing up. Yeah, uh, you know. Emma Eat. seems to be oh, yeah. join in the the don't destroy anything stage of her yeah. her psychosis. So well, and and, uh, and I just realized this is the first time that they've really heard me sing since everything yeah. that happened in Peru. And yeah. I'm just like, oh, they that's weren't cool. there on the boat. They were in in different parts of the boat. That's true. Uh, and so yeah, it's like one in the morning before you guys uh, get to sleep. You, uh, you know, Ooh, I'm gonna put in my breakfast order now so they don't come knocking at my cabin. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you totally do that. And then you are shocked when there is a knock at your cabin door in the morning and uh, the butler comes in. Good morning. It's, uh, it's Monday. Uh, it is Sunday, May 9th or Saturday, May 9th. Welcome. Uh, can I get your breakfast orders? All right. So now we're going to come Oh no! no. She did hear you. No! Oh, no! Yeah. Let me listen to your players. Bad <laughs> GM. Uh, so we're gonna come out of the game for a minute because Alexandra, Emma, and Joan, you are aware something is wrong. Donald and Doctor Hollister, everything's fine. You do not realize that this is the same day again. We hear the butler. I hear the butler. Do his... It's he. It's you know he wakes you up, oh. and uh, well, same thing as yesterday. Uh, of, of course. Well, actually, you didn't have breakfast on the yeah, thing yesterday. No. Yeah. Um. So he'll take your order. Uh. And Wait, you. Uh, I ask him what what day did did you say? Uh. It is uh, uh Saturday, May 9th. Okay, thank you. Of course, uh, I shall see you at breakfast, or in German, Frühstück. Frühstück. I remember uh, that. So he will. Uh, he'll go off. Uh, Donald and Doctor Hollister. At, oh, um, Donald, whatever psychoanalysis you got from Doctor Hollister is gone. You lose it. Um, Alexandra, because you remember what happened, you keep it. Thank you. Uh, so, um, yeah, you all sit down at breakfast and, uh, you know. Uh, okay. I'm, 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 I, yeah, I'm sitting back in my chair and looking around like, does everything seem the same? Like, I'm going to sit in the same place. Mm -hmm. Everything like seems the same. Um, the count yes. uh, is, is having the same argument, but... Um, the three, Emma, Alexandra, and Joan, make spot hidden rolls. Mm. Yep. Just regular. All right. Uh, if you made the roll, uh, he seems... Um, he seems... Uh, he looks a lot worse than yesterday. Okay. Than when it... Right. Than mm -hmm. the last time this happened. He seems... Um, he seems paler... And he's definitely sweating. And that was not the case uh, the previous time this happened. Uh, and he once again is talking with the things and he yells, Diebstahl! And then he like walks a little creakily back to his room. Okay, I'm going to go to his right to his room and knock okay. on the door. What does that mean, that Diebstahl thing? I remember that from yesterday. So, I, no, I, I you don't. don't remember, actually. You don't remember no, it, Donna. I remember that from Donald your... and Dr. Hollister, it's you not guys yesterday, don't. it's today. 
No, no. Oh, I mean, on no. the eighth, he said deep stall. No, no, no. That was yeah. That was the breakfast of this morning. Okay. Yeah. You got it. So yeah, everything. Forget no. everything. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, yeah, you can. He's very easy to catch because he's not moving that quickly. And he says, "Oh, uh, Fraulein, is he, uh, uh, hello." What are these guys bothering you? Uh, no, there is just. Um, a small situation that I have to. Oh, uh, is there anything I can do to help? I mean, I, I think we had a connection last night. Make, uh, offer me a social skill here. <laughs> but here's the thing. Yeah, for me. Um, if you're gonna, you know, like if. So I, yeah, what skill would you like to offer? Uh, um. <laughs> I'm going to offer you charm. I'm not going to make it, but I'm going to offer you charm. Okay. No, I didn't make it. You could spend luck. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's too much. I mean, you've got some inspiration. Oh, yeah. What's your, well, what is your luck? My luck, my, my luck, my charm is 29. I thought maybe I could, I could get it. But hey, it's, man, 29 in Cthulhu is a yeah, good chance. It's not bad. Do yeah, you try again. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. Now, well, you know what? You get to do it again tomorrow, so you're gonna have. <laughs> <laughs> no, That's but uh, so okay. So I, I I didn't get to charm him. All right. Or anything, so he says but, uh, he he demurs and he um he says no um you are very kind but uh no um I will uh I I prefer to keep this private. You wouldn't All right. Well, I, I would like to see you tonight. Can you make it out? You're going to be okay. We have a doctor. Do you want to talk to our doctor? Uh, I'm fine. Thank you. All right. All right. Get some rest. Mm. Yes. And he goes back in his room. <sighs> He's not telling me anything. I'm going to play cards with these guys later and I'm going to smoke them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make me an intelligence roll, Emma. That's Let's awesome. see if you remember oh. all the cards. That's awesome. Come on. Oh, no, 83. There's all right, no you way. remember oh. some of them. You definitely, okay. you do better than usual. Um, Emma's on a real luck streak, guys, at, lun uh, mm -hmm. at lunchtime. It's it's crazy. Um, Before lunch, I'd like to yeah. uh, talk to Donald. To Donald again. Yeah. yeah. All right, so oh, make a no. psychoanalysis roll. <laughs> I found the bad dice. Oh. Son of a... <laughs> Oh, but I make it. All right. So, uh, so regular success or what? Yeah, regular success. All right. So, uh, Donald, you get one point of sanity back. You don't. Um, it, it's this is the start of a conversation. The critical okay. success earlier felt totally different, but that now no longer exists. So, um, you know, you, this is the start of a conversation. You're starting to build that rapport where you feel comfortable talking about it. And those guys are talking to sure. each other. Mm -hmm. I, I want to talk. I, I'm going to say anything. I'm going to say, does do you guys have some deja vu? Serious. Are you guys feeling Serious. Deja, deja vu. vu. Everything. Not happens. you guys. You guys aren't there. Hollister and Donald. You guys are not there. I'm talking yeah. to the. To, you guys have some deja vu. The same. Everything is the same. It's it's May 9th again, and I remember everything that happened May 9th. Okay, it's not just me. I thought something was wrong, but I thought I. I before I went and talked to Dr. Hollister, they don't seem to, he didn't seem to understand that this was the same day. He's also a doctor. He's not supposed to be like, you know. Donald didn't, Donald, you know, just made his order again and, and didn't say anything either. Well, he's yeah. just boring. I mean. <laughs> hey now, he's not boring. <laughs> well, okay, let's, let's keep watching and seeing if it comes the same way or if there's any way we can make it. Well, it's a little bit different. I went to the, the, the um, I went to the Count's door this time. I wonder. I wonder what's going on. I think we should watch him. The, yeah, the yeah. Count, you think he has something to do with this? Yes. There's only 20 people on this boat, he, unless it's unless it's our damn bellman. No, he looked he looked worse than yesterday. Did you he? Know? Yes. Oh. Yes. He was he was even more drawn. He was even more drippy. He just he looked in his eyes were even more and this is in the morning. This is before the afternoon stuff. Yeah. So let's keep an eye out. And yeah. So the last time this day happened, uh, he in the morning did not have any sign of any sort of illness. Right. When you saw him. Yeah. It was. It was at lunch that he was starting to look right. haggard. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do we do we tell 
the guys? Do we tell them what, what's going on? No, we just break into the Count's room while they're eating lunch. Okay. Well, he said he, he had something. Uh, that Emma, was going make me on. an intelligence roll. Okay, hang on a second though. Before I before I fail that, um, Ezra gets five hundred bits from J Matthews eighty five. Uh, hey, buddy. You can um, guarantee oh. that the J D Matthews band will be in the Battle of the Bards. Yeah. And <laughs> Elgie Brat fifteen hundred because I dropped these. Yeah, I'm gonna drop these for sure. So, <laughs> God, why do I have to make more intelligence rolls? Can somebody else do that? No, seventy six. That's not All right. Yeah, close. everything's fine. From bones. It's what you're saying thoughts. happened exactly that way. I bet you there's something in his room that's making him crazy, that's making today all over again. He said there was something um, that he didn't want to talk to me about. He said there was something going on. There was a uh, something. And so maybe he lost something? What He's could probably he, got what, some artifact. Maybe. But what could he have lost that uh, would make the day repeat? And I mean, yesterday at least, he was looking at the people when he was walking around at lunch. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. I'm just and trying to think. Of... He will be again today at lunch, but he'll look, he still looks pale and a little, uh, a, a, you know, maybe a little febrile. Okay. So I guess the real question is, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll break into his room at lunch. We can do that. Maybe, maybe I can get him to sit with me at lunch maybe while you guys do that. Maybe. Um, but if the day repeats again, we have to tell the guys. Yes, agreed. Maybe, but maybe they'll Jay remember. Matthews, Jay Matthews gave Ezra five hundred more. I don't know why. For the JD Matthews band, obviously. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> his blood run runs cold. Oh, oh man, <laughs> the Jay Matthews band are all diva are all divas because their angel is a centerfold. Oh yes. That's just an example <laughs> of the I am, horrible I am things so, that will happen this Tuesday. I am so excited for I Tuesday. I can't wait. I can't wait. I got to make up some more, too. I got to make up some more. The, so originally, it's the Dark Vision Song cast Contest. I wanted to call it the InfraVision Song Contest, but that was too nerdy for a first edition. Like, InfraVision doesn't exist anymore. No. Uh, all right. So um, at lunch, uh, uh, wow. Uh, Elder yeah, Brat, Elder Brat just gifted subscriptions to fi five subscriptions. That is awesome. Thank you, Thank Thank you so yes. much. Thank you. Uh, Elder, Elder, you know, maybe I'll, I'll work in an Elder Bars joke somewhere in there. Uh, um, outstanding. So um, at lunch, the Count is once again out. He's a little wobbly. Um, he definitely looks worse than the last time this day happened. Um, but he is still like he's focusing on the people. He's like looking at the yeah. at the people. Yeah. So uh, when he gets to our table, uh huh, I'm oh, gonna say, Caroline, it is so nice to uh, see you again. It, it's nice to see you, except you don't look good. Come sit with us. Come have something to eat. Come on, please, please no, no, don't no. don't a, hurt yourself. I uh, you, I'm looking you, for someone. You're looking for someone. There's yeah. only like 25 of us here. Is there somebody hiding somewhere? That is to be ascertained. Oh. Do you need any help? I respectfully, I do not think that you could help with this situation, but thank you very much. You are oh, very I'm good at finding things, being, you know, an archaeologist and digging things up. I'm, I'm really good at helping find things. Yes. Yes, uh, uh, I am... Uh, I'm aware of your your skills in this regard, um, but this is uh, no. You you would not understand. All right. Please. Well, oh no problem. But you know, if you need anything from myself, um, I could have you talk to our doctor. Anything that you need, just please let us know. Let us know. All right. As he's leaving. That yes. same staff person is like shadowing him. And he like le he like turns around and he says he starts talking to that guy in in very clipped speedy German. That what guy didn't happen last time. Yeah. Can what I... guy does he talk to? Uh, the the staff person. Is he oh, 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 he the count talks to the staff yeah. person. Got it. Because again, got it, got there's it. a there's a 
there's a there's a a a member of the wait staff yeah. who's kind of shadowing him the whole time. Yeah. yeah. And the count like wheels on that guy and starts to um hmm. is, is he close enough to hear? Sure. Do you want to make a German roll? Yeah. Sure. I'm German. With the yeah, but it's really low and I'm using these dice. <laughs> yeah, I didn't make it. Yeah, you have You no are the idea only player I've ever met who's gleeful to miss rolls. <laughs> Missing rolls makes them interesting, and critting rolls, like like f critically fumbling rolls, makes them very interesting. Nice. Uh, so yeah, you um, you know after lunch you play cards again. Emma has a real run of luck. It's almost like didn't she knows we, what's coming. Didn't we um, break into his room? Oh yeah. All right. Who yeah. is breaking into his room? Of course, they out of trouble. What, do, do, you do, are you about? telling He's everyone you're breaking no. into this? No. no. Only Joan knows. These The other two have no idea right. what we're doing. So Joan is playing cards with Donald and Dr. Hall. Actually, um, yeah. So, um, Alexandra, you you don't have another session, so you don't have a chance to get more sanity back with Dr. Yeah. Hall. Um, and so, yeah, you two can go down the hall, and um, his his room is off of the main central foyer where all the meals and the, the recreation happen. Um, and so, yeah, you can, you get to his door. I I want to like listen at the door to see if I can sure, hear listen. Yeah. him inside. Uh, 71, just made it. Wow. Um, yeah, my listen's real good. So you hear... Um, Uh, you hear snoring. Damn it! Some he's he's in there. He's snoring. I miss Silvano. We would have had ether. <laughs> <laughs> the ether that we never used. How unfortunate! Mm -hmm. You didn't have ether until the headdress suggested it. It's true. You guys really, the headdress was the best thing that ever happened to you guys. Ha! And then it was the worst. Yeah. So do we want to try to go? I mean, he's, he's snoring. I just want to see if he's like sleeping in bed or like hanging upside down. That's all I want to know. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to very gently and very carefully try the, try the door to see if it's locked. Just like turn um, it a little bit. The door is locked. What's your what's your um, locksmith? Ten. All right. So, um, like Donald, I know I, I want Donald to do this, but I would have to explain why that take is going to take too long. Uh, Donald could get in this door no problem. Like these are not high security locks, but it is locked. Um, would I still be able to pick it? You can try. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I'll like glance around, but. Emma, keep and keep an eye out, and I'll pull out a, a a hairpin and start like, and you take two hairpins and start like trying to work it. Emma, make me a spot hidden roll, and you can make the locksmith. Yeah, in fact, spot hidden that might be. Where is that? Ooh, so it's a hard success, very close to a critical success. All right, so with a hard success, um, down the hall, so. There's the the front of the of the of the of the the place with the main foyer and the cheap rooms that are sort of the noisiest area, and then as you go back farther away from the engines and stuff, there are nicer rooms. And so you've come down this hallway almost to the end, and it and there is um, there's a crew only area like the kitchen and everything through there, and you would swear that you saw. Um, Almost like, you know, the ripple in the air that happens with smoke, how it like distorts yeah. things, almost like that heat ripple kind of thing. You would swear that you saw that for just a second is down at the end of the hallway. Is, is the kitchen there? Yes. Oh, no. What? I like tap Alexandra. I'm like, yellow canary. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yellow, canary. yellow canary. Is that our, is that our word? Cool. Yeah, I like it. Just Did off. you make the lock pick roll? No. Okay, yeah, this this is beyond your, you know, if you had like, uh, if you had plenty of time and weren't like kind of stressed, you know, you'd think you'd probably could get in, but in this situation, you know, you need a professional. Donna, yeah, so, 
Donald Witt would be able to pick this? Should I grab okay. him and ask him to do it? No, I think something might be on fire. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd be the one to know and I'll follow her. <laughs> she, you're the expert. Uh, <laughs> I know knives, you know fire. I don't question this. Uh, so you head back to the card game. Uh, nothing is on fire. You don't hear anybody screaming or running or anything like that. So when we get to the air area where the um, the weird ripple, yeah. No, no, you, so the weird ripples behind you, like okay, so, that's the way I want to go. So, oh, you want to go towards yeah. the ripple? Yes. So that's that's actually back towards the back of the zeppelin. Okay. Okay. So you'll you'll very quickly get to the double doors that are mm -hmm. um, into the kitchen. Both of you make me luck rolls. Ooh. I hate that sentence. Just made it. Same. Exactly. Even. It was way too close. Okay. Oh. So you are, both of you, very briefly, at the exact same moment, have a weird feeling like you're being watched, and you both feel like um, it feels very similar to that experience you had with the Hand of Glory. Oh, wow. Which one was that one? That was the invisible guy. It's been, so, so, yeah. so we feel like someone invisible might be watching us. Is I that? Mean, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna so look at, are look we at, at the kitchen? Are we at yeah, the kitchen? You make it to the door of the kitchen. There's like swinging doors. Yep. So I swing straight through. And I'm like, excuse me, could I have a glass of milk, please? Uh, yeah, so as soon as oh. you go in, um, there is a porter there almost immediately. And he's like, of course, of course, um, I will bring it out to you. Actually, could I just have it right here, right now, please? Of course. Thank uh, you. And, and uh, um, he is- I'm trying very hard not to smile because, oh man, throwback. <laughs> so, like uh, uh, um, he'll bring, yeah, he brings you a, a glass of milk, no problem. Okay. And um, the kitchen is utterly normal. There doesn't seem to be any uh, any difference. You don't notice any, nobody's so running go, around, nothing's on fire. Yeah, I go back out the other, I go back out the door and start doing like. <laughs> start spritzing milk around. Well, and, and, and also I, I, would, I would ask because I sneak around in dark areas and corners a lot. Is there somewhere that me looking at this as, as if I were to use this area as, as somewhere to like hide and like, and, and be out of sight and be out of the way, is there a corner that I, that I would aim at? Make me an intelligence roll. Sure. Yep. So yeah, you think, you know, corners, that sort of thing. But then, uh, did you get a regular success? What'd you get? Uh, regular success, Okay, yeah. yeah. So yeah, you you check all of the, the areas that you think would be good for stealth and you're like, you know, Emma's douse, putting some milk there. You don't see anything. Okay. All right, so once once we've covered the area and we're out of milk, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look over at her Clean and up say- in the hallway. Yeah, I was gonna say, I didn't, I drank most of it. I mean, just. <laughs> um, I'm gonna look at her and say, I think now is when we bring the guys in and let's let's go play some cards. Okay, I'm gonna let you explain this to them. <laughs> well, we've already had to explain a universe ending. We might as well, well, not to, not to Hollister actually, thinking about mm -hmm. it. No, in fact, I'm just wondering, should we make Hollister go somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm just afraid that he's gonna commit me. I mean, I, I, I talk that about- That should be an episode title. <laughs> yes, I'm afraid he's going to commit me. I mean, I, 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 I started talking to him yesterday with psychotherapy stuff and- Yeah, but you don't ask for a glass of milk and spritz it all over the place. You're not like, this person needs to be put, like it just, yeah, the things that come out of my mouth are not normal and I cannot be trusted to speak in front of medical professionals. Just lay it right there. That entire monologue should be an episode title. <laughs> really should. <laughs> I think that's Emma's mission statement. Should okay. Not well, like he's he's less likely. Guy. He's less likely, I think, to want to commit me at this point. So I'll do the explaining. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So yeah, they are they are playing cards, and you guys come back. And um, I and I plop and plop down, prop my my my, my uh, elbows on the table, and say, "We have a situation." 
Well, it's a situation. What happened? What happened? Well, I'll, I'll get to that in a moment. Um, I have to get across the ocean. <laughs> Joan <laughs> has to be like, Joan's like, what? Okay. Right. Um, there is no way to say this in a way that doesn't sound slightly insane, but uh, Joan and Emma and I, and uh, you two as well, but I don't think you remember it. We are living the same day over again. <laughs> what, 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 what do you mean by that? I don't understand. What do you mean, what do you mean? I know that you don't have a full house, so stop telling everybody that you do right now. <laughs> and you're, she, yeah, it's, it's right. You do not, she just called your cards. Like she will, she will describe your cards. That's actually impossible. No, no, it's, I, I know it feels impossible. But You're yeah. behind me or something? No, 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 no. We, we experienced this before, guys. We experienced this before. Uh, I, I, You've we, done we everything second, exactly. We're on the second day on the, on the blimp. So we were here yesterday. No, Donald. I mean, we, we, we saw uh, the count going around from person to person looking for things. And tonight, t- tonight at dinner, there's one one of the servers is going to drop an enormous tray of food. Um, All right, but uh, why the three of you? I don't, I, what does that mean? I don't know. I have no idea why. But why I, did Why did you have uh, your problem? I don't know. <laughs> well, Hollister I didn't. So, but I'm just saying, you know, why Why did you? Because it happened. It happened. I was captured by that that asshole. He put a mark on my neck. Did, he, did something happen to three of you? Don't Not know. To our knowledge. Don't know. But here's what I'm just saying. But here's the kicker: the, the the count is looking for someone. You heard him say that at at lunch. We think that there is someone who is using otherworldly powers to be invisible. That's, well, I understand that. And I put the like glass of milk down. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I just look at it with a fond little smile and sigh. Somewhere Jackson Elias is uh, <laughs> smiling down. Oh, no, it's worse than we thought. Well, that's, that's, that's fine. That's fine. All right. So the three of you, um, have you experienced this day many times? What's what's the situation? Once. So far. All right. And how do we know it's going to happen again? We don't. We don't. I'm hoping it doesn't. I would prefer to just go back to to the day, but... I have a bad feeling though because so much the count is the count is keeps saying there's a situation that he's got to deal with and he's looking for someone and he won't let me help, even though I keep telling him you know I'm good at look finding things. He won't Emma, let me Emma and I went, went went to his room. Um, it's locked. I couldn't get in. I might ha- I might have you to have have a look at it, Donald, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, I don't mind. I was losing anyway. <laughs> um, but there's there's someone in there in there snoring. I don't which is interesting to me because the count looks like he hasn't slept in three months. All right. Um, uh, maybe perhaps um, Joan should come too. If, if he happens to see us, it could be that Joan wanted to come visit him. That works. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, this should be a better use of my time anyway. Thank you, Donald. It's been a bad morning of cards. <laughs> all right um somehow it, not- some, somehow it's worse when there's someone who remembers what the cards are stares at joan yeah. <laughs> i nudge alexander i was like they're they're not going alone let's go but, watch the hallway but i do have a question so up until now you've done everything exactly the same as you did before no, no, we didn't do everything exactly the same. I mean, yesterday, our time yesterday, our, our yesterday, we didn't go and look at the room. We didn't go into the kitchen. We didn't see a wavy, hazy thing like uh, Emma saw. Um, but everything else around us has been the same or very close. Are the doctor and I acting the same? Are we, are yeah. we not, anyone exactly. else on this blimp not acting the same? That's a good question. So um, I will point out uh, the count is in worse right. shape and he snapped at the at the staffer who was following him so he is clearly experiencing something similar yeah. what about the staffer is he the same or different uh, as far as i can i i i, I, I would like to, to try and remember if there's anyone who stands out as having been different that i've seen not yet but you're gonna start watching for that now yeah, yeah. as far as i can tell no but i'll keep an eye out yeah all right, we'll 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 go. We'll watch the halls as well and make sure that. All right, you know, so four of you 
<laughs> standing in the hallway, not at all conspicuous. I mean, I'm 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 casually down down a little ways. Yeah, we're at the end of the hallway, kind of. Oh, watching. remember, the end of the hallway is the kitchen. Yeah. Am I at the door with you, Donald? Yes. Just in case. I'll let, I'll let you in first. Okay. So you're the one visiting him. Hollister, are you uh, are you coming along on this shenan these shenanigans? I'm actually very skeptical of this, but I'm not going to make that known. Of course. I think I want therapy. The psychotherapy sessions are going to take a turn. Yeah. Well, I mean, the the thing there, there's some stuff. I'm not going to I'm not going to bring it up because I just want to watch them. Yeah. But like some of what they're describing doesn't add up in my head. Yeah, sure. And 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 and, and if he ever brings it up, we'll we'll have that conversation. But and and, I, and I'm thinking about something else too. But that'll be later. Okay. So, uh, so Donald, go ahead and make a locksmith roll. All right. Well, it takes a little longer than usual. I guess he's distracted. He failed the roll. All right. Um, everybody who is on this caper, make me a luck roll. Success. Hard success. Yep. All right, that was enough successes, so nobody comes down. So yeah, it takes you a little bit longer. Uh, all right. Um, and the door opens. And um, it is, you know, like all of these, it's a slightly larger than most of your rooms. It's a little nicer, but the rooms are not large by any, it's like a cruise ship basically, you know, so. Um, and tossing and turning in the bed is the count. Um, he, he is, uh, this room has been like torn apart. Not like, hmm, let me rephrase that. Someone has gone through this room with a fine tooth comb and not mm. in like a clean way. Like everything's been thrown out of drawers. He, this room has been cased. Yeah. Either, either, distracted, yeah. But why are we breaking into this man's room? What? We're looking in on him. We're looking in on him. Why? Because he's he he's obviously not well. Come on. <laughs> I roll my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> is, is is he saying this to to Joan and Donald? Is he up there with them? Yeah, yeah. He's like like so. They open the door and they're being and you guys are like we're looking out and Hollister just walks up behind them. And is like, why are you doing this? <laughs> um. The the. The uh, the count does not seem to react to um, the level of noise that you're making. He's still tossing and turning. Yeah, it's not worth it to go in there. It looks like somebody's already trashed his room. He's probably trashed it himself. He's lost something, or something's been stolen from him. He's probably looking for a thief on board. Yeah. All right. Let's tell the others. Uh, everybody, make me a of uh, the three of you make me listen rolls. The three of you at the door make me listen rolls. Uh, success. I'm looking for a hard success. No. no, regular. Regular. All right. Everything's fine. He is mumbling to himself. Oh, in German, I bet. Oh, speak German. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't get it. People that spoke German all around. Well, uh, well, if I can't speak it, can I at least write it down and try and work on it later? Uh, yeah, you could, like, you wrote down the word, you know, you can write down any of the words and you can get the sounds right, but um, you can't hear any of what he's saying. He's, like, mumbling under his breath. Like, yeah, I'd have to walk up to him and listen. But so You're going to go think, in, you go into the room. I take out my notepad, I go, I creep in. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be here when he gets up because I don't want him to think I'm doing something All right, bad. so Joan is leaving. Donald, what are you doing? I'm going to watch the doctor, make sure he's okay. I'll stay at the door, but I'll watch. Okay. Um... Alexandra and Emma, you have that feeling again that some invisible thing is watching this entire thing. Okay, I'm going to listen as hard as I can to see if I can hear clothes moving against each other or a, a board creaking or something to tell me where this person is. You Okay, um, you can make a listen roll. Dr. Hollister, you can also make a, um, a listen roll. Bot nine. Uh, that is better than a critical. A 90. All right, um, so the only thing you hear him say, Hollister, um, is he, he mumbles a lot of stuff in German you're not sure about, and then he says, um, Constanta. It's 
Sounds more you like can a... make a German roll. I could. You write that down. You you note it down. Um, Alexandra, you hear um, so. You hear for the first time in a couple days. You hear the like background hum of the ship of the <laughs> of the of the Zeppelin that you you kind of tuned out on that frequency, um, and but that's all you hear. I'm just like. Yeah, I, and I like have have my eyes closed and listening, and yeah. turning my head side to side, like using using those opera trained ears to pick out noises. I'm just like, well, I didn't want to hear that again. <laughs> uh, so, are you leaving the room? Or are you okay? All right, let's uh, slowly. Yeah, you guys get out. Room. So far, no one is any the wiser. Let's go back. Go back to the dining room. Okay. Yeah, and. If, if Emma described what she saw to me like that waviness, I, I would be looking yeah. for that too. I imagine Emma's looking yeah. for that too. Do we, yeah, do we see that? You did not see that. You just had the feeling again that okay. you were being watched somewhere. And I'm how gonna, close is it to dinner? <laughs> yeah, I want to take a step back into the door and just kind of pick my head back into the door behind us. Into the kitchen? Yeah. Uh, okay, the kitchen is a hum of activity. Um, apparently cheesecake is for dessert tonight. They are, uh, they are at work baking several cheesecakes. Okay. Oh my heart. <laughs> is it a gas stove? Oh yes. Okay. Sure. Does anyone hear a Great Dane? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Rock All right, so we, we reconvened in the... Actually, we should, we, should probably, we should probably reconvene in one of our suites. Yes. So we're not like, yes. Yeah, I yes. Say, before I do that, though, when I'm back in the hallway where I got the feeling, I just want to light a match and watch what happens. All right. He was too gleeful about that. <laughs> um, make me a luck roll. Oh, no. Wait, what, what number is this? Oh, no, it's like 84. No. All right. So you light a match and a um, like a guy coming out of the kitchen says, oh, no, Fraulein, please. <laughs> um, open flames in a dirigible are a very bad idea. All right. So I blow it out and like watch the smoke. Does it, it I'm just trying to see like what. Like air patterns or something. Yeah. Um, um, it will drift towards the kitchen. Okay. And but, it doesn't sort of make a weird anything. It's just no. a straight. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Fine. Yeah. Let's go. All right. So yeah, I, I went back to my. I just you know left and went back. Sure. Yeah. So dinner comes once and again. Yes, Donald. As and, 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 and I'll actually like like have my hand on the table and count down to yeah. to when it happens and then point. yeah. Right when she says it's going to happen, uh, a waiter drops a a, a a large tray of food very apologetic. Everyone comes and, and cleans it up. Um, the count is not at dinner. Uh, doctor, did you, what the, was he saying in his sleep? Did you hear any of that? Uh, the only word I could make out was Constanta. What does that mean? Like Constantinople? Oh, I, I ping a waiter and I yeah, asked. Sure, yeah. Your waiter it, will, as he comes up, um, do you just show him the word and yeah. Um, that is a uh, constant, would be the English word. And I just look at Emma. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Thank you very much. Of course. Uh, the cheesecake will be out shortly. Ooh, Excellent. good. Oh, sounds nice. A constant. Huh. Uh, I've heard the two, uh, you and uh, Emma, referred to that before, but I didn't know Joan was graduated to constant level. So he's he's looking around for a constant. Or I mean, it could I again, is that even the whole word? That's one word, right? That's one word you heard? Mm -hmm. I mean, it is German. Why don't we just go wake this fella up and ask him? I mean, if it's going to repeat anyway, it won't matter tomorrow. That's a great idea. <laughs> Yeah, I could try knocking on his door again. Really hard. Donald can get into his room anytime he wants now. 
I'm, I'm sure I'm sure it's not locked again. <laughs> lock it, yeah. oh, is this going to be after cheesecake? <laughs> yes. Not before cheesecake. Not hmm? Of course, you got to have dessert. Okay. Uh, all right, so you you will go to uh, his room. The the whole lot of you. Uh, dancing starts, which is a lovely distraction. Yeah, I, I I hear the music start and like look back longingly and sigh quietly. Over over dessert, I want to just in case this happens again. Uh, I like to tell everyone like a, a small little story and then say like, if, if this day repeats to come to me tomorrow and repeat this story to me because you wouldn't, you wouldn't know it. And okay. Then, and okay. then just, just to be, just to be sure. Yeah. yeah. I'll, 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 I'll work on committing it to memory. Sure. Yeah. That's no problem. All right, um, you get to his room uh, and it is not locked. Uh, everybody make me, everybody make me pow rolls. Ah, shit. Oh, cool. Oh, uh, no. One, one short. You can spend that. luck. And not I'm luck. Get rid I'm of it. Spend luck. It won't matter tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do those things carry over? <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. Uh, so, um, uh, yeah, uh, so let's see, most people made it. All right, yeah. Um, uh, you go in and um, the room has not been cleaned. Uh, the, um, he is still lying there in bed, like completely fevered. Uh, the, we, the, the sheets are soaked. Instead of breaking in this time, can we just knock on the door actually? I just don't, yeah. uh, the door is unlocked. We don't have to break in. He didn't relock it. Yeah, Donald did not. Donald's very good at unlocking doors. It would still be polite if we're going to talk to him. Uh, okay, all right. Polite. Um, you met it out there as an option. Well, <laughs> I, 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 I will. I will tell him that we were worried about him and we brought a doctor. So you're waking him up. Are we? Wake him up. Go ahead. I. I'd, I'd like to. So all right. Who is waking him up? John. All right. You go to touch him, and he is burning up. Like he clearly has a a a pretty serious fever. Okay, then I I, I don't want to catch what he's got. Oh, oh Doc, so, what should so we do? I'll go. I'll go take his. You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to my room and get my medicine bag. All right. Yeah. You step out. Uh, the dancing is is in in fine swing. Um, doctor, make me a spot hidden roll. No. All right. Everything's fine. Um, okay, you you go back to your room. You grab your medicine bag. You head you head back. Um, are you gonna like? You want to give this guy an examination? Yeah. So you can do medicine or first aid. You'll get first aid will give you like triage information. Medicine will give you like, you know, systemic lupus. Triage. I rolled the other dice because I was mixing it up. And that would be a pretty sure that's critical. Yeah, that's critical success. Damn. Oh. And this was medicine, right? This is medicine. Okay. So, Damn. yeah, he has a very <laughs> high fever. Um, he's probably uh, hallucinating. He is. Um, uh, uh, he he seems like you know he hasn't he's hasn't eaten today. He seems like he's dehydrated. And you know needs to get fluids in him. Um, he's not not in a good way. He's yeah, I'm gonna start. Man. I'm gonna start taking care of him. All right. Ask ask people to, like go get water and all sure. that yeah. stuff and a towel and unless there's a okay. towel around here, who knows? <laughs> yeah, there are you know there are all sorts of clothing items that you can use as towels or you can get towels. Um, are you telling the ship staff? That's what I was gonna ask. Should I should I tell them? No, don't tell them. We, we would have to explain what we were doing in here. Oh, I, Our I, doctor can treat him just fine. True, I can explain that. We with that I was friends, his, and I brought him a doctor. Cool. All right. I'll here. I'll I'll go fetch some some water. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Joan, before you leave, did uh, you I'm, get a an I'm elder sign? I'm not. I'm not. Le I'm not leaving. Oh. Um, okay. I thought you were going someplace, sorry. Oh no, um, I thought about it. I was talking about, well, should we go talk to somebody on the uh, ship? And you guys convinced me that it was not. But anyway, you were gonna you, ask me about what? Do you have an elder sign that you can put under his mattress? Mm -hmm. 
I have a little one that I made a long time ago that I've had. No, you don't. But I, I think yeah, lost I think I yeah. lost it. Gave it okay. to dragon. Yeah, I think I lost it. The one I made a long time ago. Gave it to who? That dragon that uh, I I don't know this. Oh, but- that's right. <laughs> I forgot about that. Whoever he was, destroyer of worlds. Yes. Yeah. Ugh. All right. No, I don't have one right now. Okay. We don't have anything to protect? We could. We could try to put one on, but uh, I don't want to do that here. Uh, what's, what's, what's what's wrong with him? What what's the situation, doctor? He's got a it's fever. Just, and yeah, he's got a high fever. Yeah. Well, you know, it could be There's any no, number of things. Ice, ice or water or something. I'm yeah, going. so he, you're, you're giving him <laughs> yeah, treatment. I'm putting like a wet towel on his head and I'm trying to like pop him up and get him, get some fluids. I'm probably grinding up some aspen or something to into the fluids to. Yeah, you are, you are treating him. If you want, you can stay here, you know, as long as you want and treat him. Yes, um, but he, he does not, um, he doesn't really come he filters in and out of consciousness, but he's, you know, he's, he's only semi-coherent. So I yeah, see. He's only speaking German. The, the only, and, and any basic German I can do for like drink, swallow, yeah. Like yeah, he, rest. Yeah. If I can get him to eat something. You think, you know, you, you maybe try some soup. You could maybe try some soup. Yeah. While this is going on, I'll start searching his room. I've got nothing else to do. Uh, everybody. Let's see here. Everybody make me I nice want to call this roll. Everybody make me a sanity roll except the doctor. Ooh. When we're searching, I, I want to see I kept that sanity. I will, I will gracefully accept you, Don. Oh, yeah, hard, 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 yeah. hard sanity. Hard, hard, hard. When I'm searching, I'm going to see if the doctor has um, ether and morphine in his bag. <laughs> Ooh, no. Uh, so everybody that missed it, you're not going to lose sanity, but you remember the flu epidemic of 1918, clearly. It wasn't that long ago. And so seeing somebody like this with the flu has you both, you know, you both are, are, you both are concerned like. and don't really want to be in that room. Nope. I'm just immediately <laughs> take my little scarf and I'm like. <laughs> I can go to the kitchen and see if they have soup. Yeah, sure. He'll, okay. um, if it's liquid, he can, he can get it down. But, um. He's very weak. Broth. I'll get some broth. Okay, right, let's yeah. continue to look around. <laughs> Doctor, you're sure he's not sick? What, 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 what is he sick with? What is this? I mean, it's... I mean, the fact that he hasn't been... It, it's hard, like, chicken or the egg. Like, he hasn't been eating and drinking, so his, his body's weakened. So... This looks a lot like... Hmm? The Spanish flu, remember, this looks a lot like that. I mean, do I know the if there's any particular symptoms that would make it stand out from like this, just- Yeah, so that flu was, um, you know, the hallucinations and stuff were not really part of that flu. Mm. That seems different. Um, there also wasn't- so I want to be like, no, it's much worse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, I'd like to go clean up a little. Can't hear you. I'm gonna go clean up. All right. Um, yeah, I'm, so, I'm still digging around. I'm still looking around. Do I? Do we come across anything, including ether? Uh, are you searching in like Dr. Hollister's bag? If he's not gonna be attentive to it, yes. <laughs> I have it like right next to me. Yeah, he. he <laughs> Um, I, I am using it actively. It's, al- it's almost like he doesn't trust you a lot that much. He's he's keeping it in sight the whole time. Um, looking around the room, um, it looks like um, you've you've uh, you've cased some rooms in your time. Uh, you don't think this room was cased by other people. You think this was the count, like going through everything in the room and throwing everything out, looking for something because okay. you know there wasn't like. You know, the, look under the mattresses. To, you know, tear open the pillows. That sort of thing. This was, this was more. I need to find something. Where is it? Okay. So, does he have anything here that is suspicious to us that we that stands out to us? No, no. There's, there's nothing. Um, he um, and at that point, uh, it's about one in the morning 
at this point. You've been in this room now for, you know, five hours. Um, and he, the Count wakes and like l kind of looks around semi-lucidly. Foot sight. Foot sight. And then he goes back. English? Oh. What, is, what does that mean, Doctor? You can make a German roll. I can roll the dice. Ah. It, it wasn't the bathroom. It sounded like outside. Yeah, that's what it sounded like to me. Hmm. Well, best ask someone on the staff, I suppose. But uh, how long are we should we stay in this room? Are What's there this? windows in this room? Uh, there are, but the windows do not open. No, that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go over to the window because it sounded a little bit like outside to me too, and just like look to see if there's anything weird. Oh, uh, you're going to see a gremlin on the wings. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> you, even weirder, you're going to see wings on a zeppelin. Yeah. <laughs> a wing. Uh, no, there. Um, it is dark out. It is, it is pitch black. You are over the Atlantic Ocean. It is cloudy, um, and uh, there you don't see, and you don't see any little beasties hanging around outside. Okay. All right. Yeah, I don't think we should stay here much Let's longer. Let's let him sleep. Let's let him sleep. We need to get some sleep too, right? Yeah, we'll see if uh, we wake up on the 9th or the 10th. I'll, I'll sleep here. All right, everyone's well, going then, to bed? Well, then that will be the first test if you're if you're in your room when I wake up. Mm -hmm. hmm. I'll try to leave the doctor here and off by himself. Doctor? Are you okay letting you stay here by yourself? I think I'll be fine. Uh, All right. Uh, Everybody else goes to bed. No. Yep. Um, doctor, you um, you start to fall asleep, and all of a sudden, in the room, there's a shimmering effect. And um, standing in front of you, almost ignoring you, is a, one of the ships uh, is is the waiter that was following the count around, and um, he is like dismissively. Um, he's like looking around uh, the room, like ignoring, literally ignoring you. Can I act like I'm just like half asleep or something? Yeah, sure. Like I'm not okay, yeah. but I'll. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and like peripherally to like cracks of my eyes if I don't know probably can't make it out but I don't want to make me a spot hidden roll yeah, you can't make me make this How, but do we fine. want you to make it we want fine. you to make it well then you want oh. me to actually like open my eyes <laughs> or just ask him what he's doing <laughs> yeah you really uh, want if well, I, yeah, no, but... this is this is different than that. If you want to inspire this, you know, that's What fine, is your spot but... hidden, Nick? Low. That's how you survive in Call of Duty. It's a minimum of 25. <laughs> so, let's take a uh, shot. I'll, I'll, just get, I'll just stand up and ask if I can help him. All right. You stand up. He pulls something that looks like a fork out of his uh, pocket. Whoa, whoa. It's and okay. He, um, and he looks at you, and he takes his hand, oh. and he peels the head off, and and there is a snake face in front of you. And he says, the only thing I regret is that you'll be back tomorrow. And then the last thing you remember is there's a sound, almost like the sound of a really loud zipper. <laughs> And you wake up the next morning as the butler comes in at 9 a.m. And you don't remember, none of that happened. All right. Uh, and I think. Eggs Benedict again. I think we are going to go to break. So. On um, one second. Let me, let me hook up Nightbot real quick. All right. So we are going to give away that set of Libris Arcana orange dice. Uh, it's going to, as soon as Amy's got it set up, it's going to be hashtag chaos. Don't type it yet. Give it a moment. Wait. 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 Okay. It's like turning a dog. 
I'm ready. All right. Oh. So, uh, hashtag chaos uh, to be entered to win those uh, dice. And we will be back just as soon as six people can use six bathrooms.
Welcome back. Congratulations, Damon Kitty, for your win. I am going to sweeten the pot on that. Not only do you get those dice, oh, those aren't the right ones. Not only do you get those dice, but every year for my birthday, I have a mini golf tournament, probably not this year, oh. and I make a uh, dice for it. And so these are from the 10th anniversary of the self-indulgent classic. And I have a, a set of tens that I'm going to add to that, uh, those dice. So I will, I will send those out to you, Damon Kitty, along. They'll send you out the, uh, yep. the Libras Arcana, but I'll send you out. So make sure you whisper your address to us and we will, we will get that out to you. And just like your birthday, Jay Matthews keeps writing the same thing in Twitch. <laughs> So I'm going to admit, I see the rest of you want to look smart. I'm going to admit that I'm dumb as I was like, hey, is it broken? Jay Matthews keeps That's saying exactly the same thing. <laughs> Props to Julie who went like, he's doing Groundhog Day. I was, I was dumb, but Julie was. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't get it either. And I, I didn't get it either until Julie mentioned it or, or said, oh, he's writing the same right. thing in a tone. And I was like, oh, duh. Yeah, That's, duh. that makes sense. Well, again, he should. Well, never mind. Anyways. I was like, he should have written the, um, they say love don't mean a thing. No, right. like, <laughs> yeah. like the I, so my original too. idea for this was to have like some music cue, but then that causes all sorts of sound problems and who knows what. Uh, Cause that yeah. is, you know, that is the classic of having some piece of music that plays every single time. Yeah, yeah. Super, su Supernatural really leaned into that one. <laughs> And Elder Brat as well gave Ezra 500 bits for reasons I can't see. I'm right. always down for a V reference, man. Yeah, v that's was, a V reference. I've already done, I think I did a while ago a V, and we, we didn't do a G.I. Joe minute, we did a V minute, because I, I love me some V. Um, all right. So, uh, yeah, the, your, you all wake up, and your um, your butler is saying, oh, uh, good morning, it is, uh, it is uh, Sunday, May 9th. Saturday, May 9th, sorry. I was like, did uh, we go? Did we do it? Yeah. Uh, it is Saturday, May 9th, and I'm here to take your breakfast. And Hollister and Donald, you have no idea. Uh, the rest of you remember everything. Okay. Okay, yeah. As soon as soon as the butler leaves, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go straight to Hollister and look him in the eye and say, something's wrong. I have something I need to tell you right now. And I'm going to look him in the eye and tell him the story that he told me. All right, uh, Hollister, make me make me a sand roll. Uh, yeah, yeah. You you. I mean, so what did you code in this story? Oh, I you want to. You don't. You don't need to tell me that if you don't. If it's something that you no, want. No, actually, it was it was the word constant. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, um, you like the, the story is not right. There's something wrong. Why is why are you bringing up this? This is you know, the constant thing. Like, yeah. Okay. Um. So uh uh so yeah, it is breakfast again. Um, the duke is not out this time. Oh, he got promoted. Sorry, the the <laughs> the, the count is not out this time. I I I I think we need to go and help him you now. Know I think this is the third time around. I say, bring on the pancakes. Who cares? <laughs> I think so, we yeah, need to I, help I, him I will, earlier. I, 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 I will tell. I will tell Hollister this the the story in hopes that it will, if not, jog yeah, something. I'll, 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 I'll allow that to like you know you. There's something weird going on here, Hollister. Are you gonna Are you gonna tell him? You tell him the story. Are you telling him there's a time loop and all this stuff? I'll I'll tell him the story first. Mm -hmm. Um. And then if he asks, how how do you know that story? Oh no, the the story is actually weird to me. Mm -hmm. Like it, it it's like I know this story, but but a part of it's off. Like it's been like, and I explain like you know I'm, there, there's like this reference to this being constant. Like that's that's not a part of the story. Why are you, why are you telling me this? I am telling you this because we are stuck in a time loop and i'm going to have to keep explaining this over and over again until we figure this out waiter can i get a bottle of vodka please <laughs> <laughs> who had emma leaning into the time <laughs> time I'm time loop calories don't count <laughs> i might stab somebody later because it doesn't count i'll loan you a dagger <laughs> Okay, so oh, the calorie thing I didn't think of. More <laughs> cheesecake. <laughs> okay, so you you know that you're in a time loop, but I don't know that we're in a time loop. Right. 
why why would that be it has it has something to do with the concept that we've run into before about people being constants that a version of them exists in every universe um I knew that Emma and I were constants, but I didn't know Joan was. Like I'm eating and I'm like, the universe doesn't like you. And I'm like mouthful pointing at him with my fork. <laughs> okay, so are we all together? I thought we were there in the separate Yeah, room. Yeah, you're all sitting there. Is this, is this the start? Is this the start of the time loop? Yes. We, okay. we, 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 we know, well, it, it, start, it starts when we wake up. Wake up. It, start, it starts with the butler waking us up and saying, good morning, it is Saturday, May, May 9th. But well, that's a wait, great wait, wait, question. Wait, wait. Did we do something last night, and I mean three nights ago last night, to trigger it in the morning? Well, we'll explain what happens in this loop. Okay, so I will I will lay out the the the, the events of 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 the day. I'll I'll be like normal you know, loop. The normal um, loop. you 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 and Donald go go and have a set have a psychotherapy session. The first iteration, I went and had a, a, a session with you. I didn't have time this last iteration um at at lunch the, the uh, dinner that there's going to be a, a waiter who drops a big old thing of food and i'll, I'll like name the songs that yeah. we're playing yeah. sure. in, so, in so the jazz none band. Of, but the, none the, of this is and and that's it we just we we have a day the the thing that's different right now is the count the count isn't here the count isn't uh, here he usually what, comes what in through breakfast he yeah. usually comes in at breakfast and looks at everybody, looks at them hard, and but he's he and, and every time we go through this, he gets weaker and weaker and weaker. He may not be weak. He may he not be be well enough to get out. We need to go see him. Uh, why why are the three of you are why is it the three of you? I don't understand. You just the three of you are stuck in this loop. Because they're well, apparently they're aware. Well, apparently we're all in the loop, but they're aware of it because they're constants. Or we're just. Cool. I, I don't know anything about this constant thing, but all I know is that uh, I have. Uh, I'm like drinking, yeah, doing yeah. shots of vodka, and be like, anyone else? Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll, I'll actually take one of those shots. Yeah, I've done this. Place. I've done this a, a couple times already, and this is. What? What? Got to fix it. You got to fix it. What is this? So what? What does that? What does that mean? A couple times. What does that mean? I mean that this is the third time that we have woken yeah. up on May 9th. It's my so, third Saturday, and we haven't we haven't we haven't learned anything other than she's well, for dinner. The That's doctor okay. is. We haven't learned anything important other than the count. the the count. Counts. Well, uh, so, who, who else is doing this? Just the three of you. Is there anyone else on this um, zeppelin who is going through the same thing? I haven't really taken a poll on who is batshit crazy besides me on this boat. <laughs> Let's find yeah. find out. No, we haven't we haven't seen anything different. We haven't seen anything different happening except for that for the us and the count. And so also, and, and 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 I'll tell them about what Emma saw uh, with the with, with the wavy line and the sense that we were being watched by someone invisible. Um because we've run into that before. Alexandria, how did we kill the person the last time? The invisible <laughs> person. Um I mean, I don't have a fat candle. That was years ago. Um, Look for a fat candle. No, no. Well, they had the fat candle as long as it yeah. was lit, they were invisible. He ran out and he was trying to get a new candle. And so he wasn't, he like, he got overconfident and he was like revealing himself to you and then he would go invisible and then he ran out. Uh, I believe he got shot or stabbed and he was bleeding out. Mm. So we were able to find him because he got injured. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, we we found him because we were able to injure him, but I or but I didn't I was listening very carefully when we were in the hallway and I could not we should try to get him. to the count earlier, guys, than we did before. We should try to get to him earlier before well, he if he's not well, I'll go grab my bag. Yeah, okay. that sounds great. Let's go. What what happened, what happened last time? I what have, what have I missed? What happened last time? They had cheesecake for dessert. That's it. Uh, no. And the count wasn't well. The count was sick, and yeah. uh, we tried to, to 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 make him well. So we need to go earlier. We went too late. Now we need to go earlier and try to see if we can get him to be better. Well, well unless intelligence roll, Joan. Yeah. No, everything's fine. I was gonna say I'm actually more worried in the fact that if he's not here already, 
he's the he's the other one that seems to cumulatively and i'm just struggling for words right now because i've been drinking and eating and just yeah 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 yeah, no no getting worse while the rest of us are still fine and eating another eggs yeah so um yeah no he was he was really bad off last time so um i think we should go we should go try to fix him earlier and then maybe we can find out what's going on yes you you were uh dr hollister you examined him in the last Oh, i got up and left to get my medicine stuff oh that's right Dr. Hollister examined him in the last iteration and he was having a fever and hallucinations and was muttering the word constant. All right. So at breakfast, you, uh, you, you abruptly get up. Emma is, are you going to stay eating or are you going to go with them? I'm going to take a doggy bag though and take my bottle of vodka with (laughs) me. Yes. They, um, they were just bringing you the donuts you asked for. Scoop them up. Those are Uh, purse donuts. And so um, you go to his door it is locked i'll knock okay um you don't hear any i mean you you i don't hear snoring um if you listen you can kind of hear low moaning okay is anyone in the hallway is is the coast clear i'll 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 immediately turn and like and and, and like start keeping watch it seems like the coast is clear i'll get get the lock picks out all right Take care of this. Hey, you're, oh no, you don't remember this. No, I was about to say you're familiar I, I, with this lock. Locks, these German locks are, give me some trouble. So. Why yeah, you know, we... you feel like you've seen this lock somewhere before, but it's just, it's, you you can't quite get it. Um, it takes you a while and... Um, we didn't want to ask anybody to open the door for us. I mean, we have a legitimate concern that he was feeling unwell last night. Everybody make me a luck roll. Okay. Every time he misses the pick lock, we go through the luck roll. <laughs> and let me know if you fumble. 98. Yes. Oh, oh. All right. Oh my God. I'm the only one who made it. Yep. Yeah. So uh, Donald is, um, is down there working on the door and um, the kitchen door opens and there is uh, a porter and he like looks you on. He says, uh, can I help you all? Yeah, I was supposed to meet with uh, the count, but he's not there. So we were we were trying to see if we could knock on the door and get him to come out. I see. Can we get um, somebody to help us and see if he's okay? Is anyone standing in front of Donald? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. As yeah, <laughs> they like slide in front of him. <laughs> we were gonna slide. We can say we were gonna give a note under his door. That's why he's kneeling. We're going to we're we're, we're going to push trying to put a note under his door. But if you can get us in, that would be awesome. Yeah, he said that he was not feeling well yesterday, and we have not seen him at breakfast, and we're very concerned. He looked quite peaked. He said he was not feeling well yesterday. Oh, I'll have a shot at that. Yeah, I, I, I was speaking with him uh, in great detail. He he seemed, he said, you know, maybe it'll be something in the past. You know, you get the itch in your throat and the uh, the light sensitivity. And he, yeah, maybe and you I'm, I'm a doctor and I hold up my medicine bag. Right, right. Oh, well, of course, doctor. Yes. He seemed, um, he seemed very well yesterday when I spoke with him. Oh no! Like I was saying, he he felt like he was, he could be coming down with something and wanted. Oh me to- no! Well, uh, by all means, of course. Uh, uh, thank you, doctor. Um, um and uh, everybody, make a psychology roll. Ugh. Can I make a persuade roll instead? He's gonna. He, he's doing what you want. So okay. Oh, I made it. You made it. Two. Oh two. Oh two. That's awesome. Ooh, all right. Nice. Um. So. Uh, he the is, psychologist. Misses. I'm not actually uh, a very uh, good psychologist. Joan, you have seen this before, um, much to your detriment. He is like memorizing all of your faces. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. Uh, but yes, of course. Let me go and uh, 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 get the get the key for you. Thank you. And Thank he'll you. go back into the kitchen. Uh, he'll get Donald. Get Donald to go back. Go get the yeah. mm-hmm. He comes back in about five minutes with uh, the key and he opens the door and um, and, and as he, he opens it a little bit and he knocks on it and he says, uh, uh, account, account, blab gesunder end, hello. Ah, das ist sehr komisch. 
Was passiert hier? Uh, Herr Count? Herr... We, we already tried knocking. Uh, yeah, yes, uh, uh, he, he opens the door full and um, he will, uh, uh, he'll say, oh, please, doctor, come in, come in. Uh, yeah. And he will, um, you know, he'll, he'll actually like intercede and try and keep the rest of you from coming in. Yeah. And then, he like stands at the door uh, the doc and the doctor goes in um, and, and he, he, um, he will ask which one of you seems the most trustworthy. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, actually, <laughs> but he's not, he can't ask you. Um, Donald, he will ask you in a, a in a in a a pure chauvinistic moment. I was gonna say that's so a chauvinist move. Uh, um, a German move, yeah. He asks you to uh, go into the kitchen and ask for uh, the bursar to come and join them. Oh, all right, right. I'll go get this fella. Sure. Uh, I'll go to the kitchen. Okay. Um, and yeah, you you go and you get the bursar, and yeah. he'll be there shortly. Um, so. Hollister, he this guy has a very bad fever. Um, he seems um, he's not he doesn't seem that weak. He's he he seems a little dehydrated, but you know it seems like maybe the the but he's 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 weak and he's hallucinating. All right, yeah, I'll start. Uh, what do you, what do you need me to roll? Medicine. Sure. Medicine yeah. Check to yeah. Jeez, no. Can I? Can I get a? Can I get some inspiration? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Man, what, what happens if you kill him? I'm bound to fail sooner or later. Like it's a matter of time. Oh, that was that was not a critical fumble. Was that an Was that an Amy though? Yes, it's very Amy. Wow. You know, you are surprisingly competitive in the Amy competition. What is this surprisingly? He deliberately uses bad dice. Yeah. Um, so you, this guy, you don't know what is wrong with this guy. This does, this, this like, this is not anything you recognize. It's kind of like a fever, but not. And, and the onset, because I saw him yesterday. Right, yeah, very, it, um, it's, it happened so quickly. You don't know what's going on here. I'm, I'm just going to try and treat, uh, treat the symptoms at this point, try and okay. get his, uh, yeah, you you know you'll do the same thing you did last time with with hydrate, you know, and try and get some soup in him. Mm -hmm. um, the bursar will return with Donald, and he will have a brief conversation in German with the uh, with the, uh, the the porter who's there, uh, and then uh, the bursar says something to the porter, and the porter like kind of disagrees. And the bursar says something a, a, a little sterner, and the porter agrees, and the porter leaves. Um, and the bursar, uh, Uber says, um, "You are a doctor, yes?" Yes, that's correct. Uh, is the count uh, all right? No, I, and I have no idea the 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 severity of this from when I saw him yesterday. This doesn't make any sense. Yes, I I spoke with the count yesterday, and he was fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The three ladies are all going to exchange a look from the from the hallway. Yeah. Oh, well, this is, uh, I'm, I'm, and he'll sort of like bring you all in conspiratorially and say like, um, I would ask that you not that you please keep this um, quiet. We do not need any sort of panic. Uh, doctor, do you think anything in he, with this is contagious? I mean, I'd like to. How, how is this, how does this room look right now? Oh, is it torn to shreds? It is. Yes, the room is still tossed. Um, I, I'd, I'd like to see if I can look through. I mean, it's possible he could have been taking something. Maybe. That, of course, of course. I, I'm not yes. sure. Um, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't mind, um, the doctor is going to take care of the count. Um, if you I, will excuse us, I'm going to. Uh, um, he's um, he's gonna leave you alone there, Doctor. He's he doesn't. Okay. Want can can anyone else stay with me? I'm his assistant. Well. I'm, I have to spell it out. I, I'd love anyone who's good at looking through the stuff to try and figure out if there's any uh, yeah, any any, any like bottle of pills or anything like that sure. in this mess. We're gonna we're gonna have to go through his entire room, and the sooner the sooner I can figure out if there's something in his system, the sooner I can do something about it. Um. 
C. And I and I do want to want to catch the burster before before he leaves and like draw him a little aside and say, "You say that you spoke with uh, the count yesterday." Yes. It may. It, it, I I I I don't know if it has any bearing on this, but I wonder. Well, can I ask you what you spoke about, if it isn't too sensitive? Uh, the count had misplaced something. Mm. Did he say what it was? Maybe we can. May, maybe we'll find it going through things. Trying to find the pills. Uh, the count misplaced a watch. A watch. Oh, isn't that convenient? I I, I, I pulled him aside. I'll tell I'll tell you guys when when I come back in. A watch. Uh, you know, now any... again, please. I would like to give the doctor the room. And he starts and, to like. Well, no, and I, I, I say I want what I, I think what Donald and Alexandra would be the best to look at the room. Probably. Right. Yeah, I, I want them to stay and help me look. Doctor, until you can assure me that this is not contagious, I do want as few people in this room as possible. They, they've already been in this room. It, it's already done. And so I should quarantine you all to this room? Well, then you'll have to quarantine yourself as well. And, That's a and, great idea. And, and and the porter who just left here. That's not the point. Look, it might be nothing. And the sooner we can go through his room and find out if maybe this is just like yeah, a just mix like of medication, this could, this, this could just be a reaction to something that he ate. But if it was if it was food poisoning, I would expect other people. And from what I Actually, saw during breakfast, everyone else seemed fine. So I don't believe that's the case. The bursar is now holding a handkerchief over his face. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm ready, yeah. doctor. Uh, what do I have to do? Um, very well. Uh, commence your search. I shall wait here, and once it is done, uh, we will leave, and the doctor will remain with the patient. Yeah. No. I and and I I don't need to be in here for this. I I'm I. I mean this in the nicest possible way. The Count is a very, very wealthy man. And I must ensure that none of his belonging, none of his other belongings disappear. Yeah, so I, I'll murmur, murmur something under my breath in Italian about, about the privilege of wealth. Um, he will reply yeah. to you in Italian uh, 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 that, that he says, if you're on a Zeppelin, you're already rich. True. So is the room shut? Like, can I? Yes. Because so I the bursar like start... is the bursar closes the door but stays inside the room. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I would so like to start. There are now six of you in a not seven people really with the bed. Okay. No, nope, yeah. I want to be outside sprinkling vodka looking for my suspect. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> All right, you see, yeah, you are outside the door sprinkling like, vodka. I'm demon, wherever you are. Do you need a dagger? <laughs> Possibly, but blessed be those who drink vodka and blessed be those who uh, don't burn candles of fat. And all right, make me a luck roll, Emma. Mm. Do it. Come on. What number is this? 81, come on. I got, these dice are terrible. Where's the birds of paradise? <laughs> Yeah, oh, why are you the birds of paradise? I don't know. Do I try again? Do we yeah, just say do it? Do it. Do it. Do it. Crazy person in the hallway. Do it. Okay, I say switch try it. the birds of paradise. Come on, baby. Come on, birds. Ooh, better. 34. I made it by All right. four. Go, birds of paradise. Um, you have that same feeling of being watched, Ooh. but you don't like have a sense. It it's it's again, it's it's omnipresent. It feels like it's everywhere. And okay, so, so I'm still gonna just like try and hone in on it. Just be like, sure. let me try over here. Like, do the hotter, colder thing. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. That's no problem. You know. So, uh, you guys in the room, you search the room. Um, yeah. You're very efficient about this. Um, you find uh, uh, a great deal of money. Um, you find like a, 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 a like essentially a case of money. Uh, you find. Um, you find what, a pistol. What currencies? Marks. Hmm. Huh. Deutschmarks. Yeah. Um, you find uh, uh, you find a pistol. 
and um, you find no watch. Even on his wrist? There, uh, wrist, it, it, um, the guy will say, was it a pocket watch? the guy will say it was a pocket watch. Okay. Is the count, so I'm, I'm focused on the count this yep. whole time. Is he coming, he, he's hallucinating, is, he's, I'm assuming he's still speaking in German. Yeah, every and once in a while he'll say again either Konstante or he'll say Urzeit. Uh, I, I asked the uh, the bursar what the what. Or yeah, if the bursar can provide a translation of what he's mumbling, that might uh, be helpful. The the bursar does not want to put his face near this possibly contagious. Uh, no, I'm I'm saying. asking. I'm yeah, asking he'll him. tell you that uh, Ortsite means watch. Watch. Okay, so uh, it's somewhere on the lip. Some someone took it. We just have to find the suspect. Would, would 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 you be willing to describe what this watch would look like? I'm assuming he gave you a description. He was, no, there was not my, it's a gold pocket watch. He said it was very valuable to him and very important to him and that he needed it. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it, this it could be stress induced perhaps. Uh, and I will now ask that everyone except the doctor, please. Yes. Uh, yes. We will be serving I'm lunch soon. Uh, oh, doctor, Thank you. would you, do you, is it, is it, um, is it useful for you to stay here or do you just want to I, come and check on him at intervals? If at any point he becomes lucid, I'd love to be able to ask him some questions, but mm -hmm. My German is not very good. Mm. I can have a crewman uh, stationed at the door. That would be fantastic. Very well. Um, so yeah, he'll 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 arrange that porter to just sort of stand by the door, um, and he tells you that um, he will uh, he will call you if any. Uh, he'll come and and have someone come and find you if there's any change. And then, you know, he thinks after every meal, you should just give him a checkup. Okay. So, so I, rem I, I went to talk to the other, the other ladies and said, did, did you guys ever see that presence that was lurking around that you told me about? No, but it's here. I can feel it. I just can't find it as I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 I'll flinging vodka around. I'll, co I'll, I'll come up to, to where she is and see if I can sense that sense again. No, you don't now. Okay. But we should go and find the um, the gentleman that he was yelling at yesterday. We should go talk to him or toss his room. The, the, the porter that he was yelling at or the person who was following him around at lunch? That yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, but he yelled oh. at him yesterday. He yelled at him yesterday. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Um. So you at lunch, it's very easy to find that guy because he is like what he is doing what the count was doing. He's like looking. Oh. He's like he's 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 basically pretending to refill water as he is very like not terribly subtly, like watching everybody, looking for something that people looking for some something that people are doing. Right. I'm right. rather suspicious. Well, he comes to us. I ask him if he speaks English when he's trying to pour yeah. our waters. Yes, of course, I speak English. Oh, you look like you're looking for something. Can we help? Um, no, everything is fine. Um, is there a reward, fellow? Maybe you, we find it for you, we give it to you, give us a reward, huh? Actually, could you just tell me what time it is? Uh, well, it's lunchtime, so it must be uh, 12 30. But, 12. Do you know exactly what time it is? I, I'm sorry, I do not have a watch. Okay. Thank you. I'll, I'll ask someone else. Thank you. Uh, everybody make a psychology roll. <laughs> Good luck. No. Oh my God. Am I, am I there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I, I failed, 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 failed 98. I got oh, it. You fumbled? Yeah. Outstanding. Kiana, what'd you get? 
I got a 15. I got a regular success. All right. So, um, so Tiana, you will, uh, when, when she, when, when, when Emma does her watch thing, like the guy immediately, you see him like immediately, like going like, she said watch mm. and like kind of looking at her. Um, Joan, you are watching this guy like a hawk and you would swear his shadow on the floor, there's something serpentine about it. Ooh. When you see like he's standing up straight, seems like a normal person, shadow, like just weird curvature. Oh. Make me so, a sanity roll. This yeah. guy's a snake. Yeah. This guy's a this guy's a snake. Oh, well, wait till it goes away before you say that. <laughs> oh, and I didn't make it. Oh no. All right. Um, you lose two sanity, and all you can think about is Miles Shipley's mother. She wouldn't know that. No, she wouldn't. Were they? Oh no, they were. Remember, they were on all of the stuff. The new, Not, the, the new Great Dane Society. We never was, went to. We never went to. to oh, Miles you didn't Shipley. go there. That's right. Oh, after, after, we, after we after after we went yeah. to yeah. Remember that was. Thomas stabbed me. So yeah. whatever his name was that week. That's stabbed right. Me so yeah, name. then then Joan, this guy, this guy's a you know, you just are sure there's something sinuous about him. Yeah. God, it would be so great if you like leaned in and grabbed like, I know you're a snake. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that because of the what I what I rolled. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh and uh um, then and he'll but he'll like he definitely gives you a look. Yeah, um, well, I'm looking back at him, and I look at the floor, and I look at him. Well, like if it, if it you know, what I'm perhaps, for. perhaps you could help me. Oh. You see, um, the Count has lost something of great value to him. Oh, really? Yes, yes. And... He's looking for, he asked me to look for it. Hmm. Is it something that's worn on the head? You were looking very intently at people's faces. No, it is a watch, a pocket oh. watch. And if you see this watch, if you see a gold pocket watch, please, would you let me know? Certainly. Um, is there anything special? I mean, most people carry pocket watches. Is there anything special about this one? An engraving, uh, something on the on the lid? It, I'm afraid that's the only descriptions that I have is just a gold pocket watch. Well, that's unfortunate. Yes, yes. Um, you, um, you can, uh, uh, yes, uh, but if you find something, please, uh, uh, just uh, let me know. I am. Uh, um, I am. Uh, 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 you can. You can ask uh, um, for Herr Sissek. Sissek. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, that was out of character. <laughs> All right, will do. Certainly. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And like. He does an unsubtle, like, look back at you all as he's walking away. Right. So, I don't trust that guy at all. Get him into some dark corner or some room by himself. I, our, our, our minds run along the same track. There's, there's something wrong with that guy. He's a sneak. Oh, he's just looking for the watch that... Hold on. Yeah, asked him about less. Because because I'm thinking about Miles Shipley's mother. I'm like, Joan, do you mean that literally? I, his, did, you <laughs> see his did you see his shadow? No. Ooh, do we have time to look at his shadow? Uh, Ooh, the the light is wrong for, now. Uh. Do we have time to look for human skin <laughs> sheddings? I'm what? talking about, never mind. There's never always mind. time for that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not talking about toenail clippings, people. <laughs> yeah. 
but you mean that literally he's literally uh-huh. a snake not you <laughs> yeah. I, I felt just like i'm like uh-huh yeah emma's mm-hmm. been drinking again I'm like, when he was staring at, at 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 you and emma i i i looked and his shadow he definitely everyone definitely. And, and i'm gonna look at emma and say mrs shipley well first off nobody needs to stab me in the leg today <laughs> there's no knitting needles i think you're safe oh, my God. All right, well, <laughs> okay that was just, uh, that was weirder than than what i was thinking so hmm. it's always weird. That's what i found his, his watch and it's up in this room over here and come over here and get it and we'll ambush him find out what he knows that sounds like a horrible idea that sounds like uh, a horrible idea. You're just, you're just gonna because, just... because Doc, Doc, let's go check on. Let's go check on. Uh... <laughs> I know what you're doing. No, dude, we, we were supposed to. I'm aware oh, of that. Yes, look, you don't need to. We're supposed him. to go. We were supposed to go after every meal. We're supposed to go and check on him. Let's yes, go. Yes, I know. Plausible deniability. But you see... Bye. It's a Bye. very liberal use of the I'm, I'm just going to, before I leave you to do just a horrible mistake. It doesn't matter. Tomorrow <laughs> it'll happen this... again today or whatever. Well, then use this time to collect information instead of ambushing people. You you, you no. can, if we have repeated... Right. Wait, wait, hold on. That's no, what this is phase doing. two. This is phase two. Eat a lot of carbs, stab a lot of people. Tomorrow we wake up and go, whoops, we shouldn't have done that. And then we'll just do something else tomorrow. It'll be fun. No, 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 don't listen to her title. Look, look, look. she's been drinking. You need to be committed. No, no. (laughs) Oh, no. She's been drinking. She's been drinking. Leave her. Let's go see the count. I was going to do that anyway. You don't need to escort me. Okay. Um, All right. I was, I just thought I, I, because I was worried about him. Please use this time wisely. Don't, don't ambush people. That no, you course, no. Of course, of course, no. But we would never do that. And don't patronize me. We could commit all the sins. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, no. I, I don't know, Emma, no. because I mean, we remember theoretically, God would too. Or, or are we as constants Ooh. more, more, more uh, outside of God's purview? <laughs> you almost hear the voice of the headdress. I am a god. <laughs> I need to drink some more to deal with that. I was going to say, I still, I still hear it. Uh, all right, so you are yeah, going to I'm going to go get a bowl of soup, and I'm going to go visit the Count. Yeah, and you guys are going to ask, uh, Herr Sissick is uh, uh, Herr Sissick for something? We, we, sh- we should probably give it a couple of hours if we are going to try to use the we found the watch uh, excuse to get him alone. That right, said... That said, I'm. We should look everywhere. I, all right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to remember where I saw the count, not yesterday, but the eighth. What, what, where, where did I see him, uh, in in that time frame, and just like look around in those areas to see if maybe he dropped the damn thing. That would be very anticlimactic. <laughs> The watch isn't a plant over there. Ah, ah. Good night, everybody. <laughs> All right, someone stole it. There's, there's the suspects. Let's find out who the suspects are, and we'll deal with them one by one. It's a process of elimination. Well, the nice thing is that there's only 20 passengers besides us. And how many how many crew members? Have we seen how many crew members That's there are? That's what I'm worried about. So it seems like it's almost, you. you've only seen the service staff. Like the, the actual engineering and stuff you haven't seen. Um, it seems like it's pretty, it's like, uh, at least 10 that you've seen staffers. Someone, someone has the watch and I don't think that it is hair Sissick. So yeah, if that's well, okay. Right. The fellow who's looking, he doesn't have it. Why would he be looking around if he's, he's got it hidden away? But exactly. someone else does. Who else are the suspects? The invisible man. <sighs> Whoever that is. Invisible man. Um, that angry blonde guy. <laughs> who's the angry blonde? Speaking guy? of angry blonde guys, we just got raided by fateful encounters. So welcome. Hello. Uh, uh, th- thanks so much for joining us. Uh, I believe that's that going to trigger a giveaway. 
with a raid Holy. like this. Thanks for raiding. Welcome. We're playing, we're playing Call of Cthulhu, and the players are currently stuck in Groundhog Day on a Zeppelin. Yep. That is not so blowing up. So here's and the thing. If you put in hashtag chaos in the chat, you win something, but I forgot what. Is it a... Is it a Nord Nord Games deck? I, think? I don't remember. It's or either a Nord, it's, sure. it's either it's either a Nord Games deck or a Foxy Irregular pin, usually for raids. That's it, Foxy Irregular sure. pin. Here's All right, the thing. so shirts sure. uh, are for are for the boy triggering. Uh, yep. So we have uh, put in hashtag. Oh, uh, we've got a moderator saying, "Let's do a Nord Games luck date." Luck <laughs> okay. Day. Oh my God, Chad is awesome. Chad got my reference. What? Chad, huh? so there was a horrible 80s movie called The Girl, The Gold Watch, and Everything. Yes. And this is, this is, you know, this was, that was a major, uh, 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 although The Gold Watch stopped time. This is a little different, but, um, so uh, uh, hit chaos uh, in the chat and you will be entered to win a Nord Games luck deck. We heart Nord okay, Games. Okay, now Thomas is saying Birds of Paradise. Thomas, oh. come on, what's happening? <laughs> now Someone it's a, a set of Birds of Paradise dice. Well, trust me, the Birds of Paradise dice are better. Birds of yeah, Paradise wait, is wait, awesome. Just, hashtag chaos. Just, just do it. it. Uh, all right, so uh, yes, it is Groundhog Day going on in this uh, uh, in this crazy thing, and they are about to beat up a poor crewman. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, so you, you arrange day. an ambush. Right, let's, wait, you arrange an ambush for Herr Sissick. Uh, where do you ask him to meet you? Here's what I think we should do. How about um, Alexandra's room? Um, and then Emma can get him. I'll hide behind the door. He comes in. I close the door. I have him trapped. We can have a conversation. Off, okay. I'm not going to hit him with this bottle of vodka. I haven't finished it yet. I, I Emma is... If it were anyone really but Emma, I would ask for a con roll. But Emma is <laughs> Emma's not close to drunk yet. No. It's going to take think more I, than Groundhog Day to get Emma going. I was going to say, I don't think I've, we've ever seen Emma like, pro well, once or twice, we've seen her properly yeah. drunk. Yeah, a couple times. But I need to try, because if it is Groundhog Day, no repercussions, people. No, Wait. it's like, it Hold is on. like all pass. Game of on. Every day is cheat day. She Game got on. started in the morning for breakfast, and you're telling yeah. me that it's after lunch. She's been drinking constantly, and she's not drunk. Yes, no, Emma's I, liver is mythical. That's Emma, <laughs> I'm in a comfortable spot right now. Happy buzzed. Emma's liver is actually a sponge that only soaks um, alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, you you get him. He comes in, and Donald closes the door. Closes the door him. behind him. Yeah. Yep. I pull uh, my gun out. What, wait, what do you say? I pull my gun out as well. After, after oh, the God. Um, that's right. You snuck a pistol on board. Mm -hmm. You pull a gun out, and he looks very surprised. Yeah, I, I, I don't have any of my daggers currently drawn, but I have I have a hand near a spot where I can quickly draw one. Tell us what you know about that pocket watch you're looking for. Should I intimidate or... or uh... Yeah, sure. Make an so, intimidate roll. Sure. I'm there too, right? You know, I can say, yeah, yeah. you snake. <laughs> Where's the crowbar? Yeah. This is a hard success, 17. All right. Um, he like takes a step back and then the crowbar comes out and he like takes a step forward and he's like trying to decide which is worse, the crowbar or the gun. The crowbar, actually. Um, uh, um, uh, yes, of course. Uh, of what, what, the watch is missing. I'm, I'm helping the count find it. What? Why? It's not, you don't care about the watch. What does it do? I work for this. We, he's rich. We try to make him happy. What's the real story, fella? There's something else going on with this bloody watch. What, what is the what? real story? And he disappears. Oh, there it is. I was going to ask him what Wait, day it was. Damn um, it. Joe, 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 hit the, where he was. We are in initiative. The spot where he what? was. Shit. Here we go. Okay. Uh, all right, 120. Yeah, he's got that. There's no gorilla here, come on. <laughs> right. On a 120, you hear a noise like a zzz. And uh, Donald, make me, uh, a, make me a dodge roll with a penalty die. Got it. So we're going to do the giveaway for the Birds of Paradise dice. This time we mean it. 
in five minutes and you must be present to win. But why would you leave? I'm about to kill some people. They're not. I'm about to kill some people. <laughs> yeah, um, I failed that dodge roll with my penalty die. I don't know if we should roll again. Want to inspire you guys? What do you yeah, think? Well, if he inspired, do you get the other one? No. Nope. You, have to roll. You, have to roll, you roll it all again. What is your you dodge? It's a 49, so I about 50. Yeah, 50. you should. Yeah. Definitely. I'll take one more shot at this. Yeah, that's a 92. That's not going to do it. All right. You yeah. just you just aiming. Yeah. Uh, so you take 14 points of damage. Ooh, what kind of damage? What's that? What's happening to Donald? You have been struck by lightning. So I was wondering. Yeah. Okay. Um, what? Yeah. Your uh, all of your body hair is smoking, and make me a con roll. Ooh, ow. Uh, success. That's a regular success. All right. You stay conscious. Um. But like you have just been flash fried. All right, yeah, he'll he'll probably go down to one on one knee uh, and just uh, feel the pain for a second. Make me a uh, make me a luck roll. Uh, success. All right, yeah. Um, your gun is not welded to your hand. Okay. Uh, but you have dropped it. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. That is uh, one twenty. Eighties. That's Donald. Yeah. Uh, assuming he can still act, what I was hoping to do is grab the gun and throw it at where I think this guy might be. Just kind of th try to throw it. Sure. Make me a throw roll with a uh, with a penalty die. All right. It's a actually. You know what? Just make me a throw roll. It's a small room. Okay. And uh, my throw is not. Eh, it's not bad. I've I got a seventy four though. That's not going to do it. You know, for all everyone should have a high throw roll because grenades always come up in Cthulhu. Mm -hmm. Or it's dynamite. shocking how often uh, that happens. So you throw it and um, it doesn't bounce off anybody or anything. Right. Um, all right. That is 80s, 70s. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to draw my dagger and just like light uh, uh, my, my lightning fast draw and just like I'm, I remember where he was. Mm -hmm. I want to try and like grab at the air where 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 he was and try to make it and try to make a knife attack in that area. Uh, so you're not grabbing, you're stabbing. Yes. Okay. So like, like, but but not like stabbing, like more like a, a wide slash to try and cut something. Okay. Uh, make me a knife attack with a penalty die. Okay. Nice thing about rolling something that I'm really good at is it's hard to fail. Uh, yeah. That is a hard success, even with the penalty die. All right, with a hard success, um, you're you you hit something and it's solid, not like a body. There's like a pink, and briefly, very briefly, this wall of hexagons kind of flashes, and you see um, you see Sisic, and you would swear that like his eyes. Are reptilian there's like you know they've got the there there's um and uh and your uh your your knife like hits some sort of field around him mm. and and then it's back and he's mm. gone oh and you saw in his hand he has a fork of some sort it looks like a fork of like a um a weird silver metal is it a like a a eating fork or is it like a tuning oh, no fork? no it is not an eating fork it is it is a piece of metal that has like almost like a tuning fork it's a tuning it. fork i recognize this it is not a tuning fork but that is what your that is your analogy yes that yeah is, uh, all right 70 60s 50s 60s 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 all right i i saw where that guy was i'm just gonna slash out with this sure swing with that crowbar don't fumble you have a penalty die okay Penalty die means the two bigger ones, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. Two tens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. What? Okay. Whoa. Okay. Um, what? That's fumble, probably. No, it was. They're they're both good, but one of them was better than the other. I I did make it because my my regular crowbar is forty nine. I got a forty four. <clears throat> okay. Roll your damage. I had a O four for the other one. Roll your anyway. damage. Actually, wait, I shouldn't be mean. I didn't make Tiana roll damage. I'm not going to- I was going to say. <laughs> uh, it's the same thing. You bang up against whatever this this field around him is. And just like you are struck, up. 
he's just sort of bemusedly watching all of this. All right. So I do see that the, that the, he has a field around him. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, that was 60s Emma's. Okay. Yeah. Bottom of lineup. So I've seen the thing hit twice, like the yep. hexagons twice. Little vodka oh, match. <laughs> oh no. It's just like the blimp on fire. Okay. <laughs> sure. It's Groundhog Day. <laughs> <laughs> no consequences. <laughs> So, I'm betting that there are going to be consequences. Yeah. So, like, I, being neither a drinker nor someone who plays with matches, I don't know what would happen if you, like, flicked vodka through a, a match. Would it, no, like, so what I would do is I would actually, let me describe this to you, what I do. So I get up to him, take a swig, I'm like... Oh, Emma's breathing over fire. Him, and then just whoosh, right on him. All right, yeah, you are trying to breathe fire. Uh, I'm going to make you an offer. You can. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. Uh, okay, you can baby. do the full damage to him, but you're going to take damage as well. Or you can do, uh, you can be safer and he won't take as much damage. Full, baby. Full. All right. So um, you used to have eyebrows. Uh, <laughs> as you know, it, it turns out that um, fire breath is the, the makes it harder. So um, you will, um, a, a gout of flame flashes through the room. The three of you in the room make me a dodge roll. Oh. Groundhog Day, everything's fine. Made that at least. Made it. Yes. All right, so uh, Emma, you do a D8 damage and you're going to take half of whatever you do. I'm like, hold on, where is this? Oh, that's crap. That's crap. So two, I rolled a two, so I only take one. Right, that's so two. You, you do two points of damage, but that like that goes through whatever that field is. And and he uh, the field like again it flashes off briefly, and he sort of looks at you like, huh. Um, he was not expecting that. Uh, all right. That's right. Back to <laughs> back to one twenty. Um. You hear um, um, an, a disembodied voice, Sissick, uh, will say, um, uh, the funny part is none of you will remember this tomorrow. And then, uh, ooh, there's another, Zizzik, um, and Emma, roll me a dodge roll. Oof. Oh, pff, I don't know why. Because <laughs> uh, you don't want to get struck by lightning? <laughs> nope, not even close. All right, woof. You take 14 points of damage. Holy smokes. What okay. happens if I had 19? Does that mean? Uh, you're going to make me a con roll. OK. Uh, you have just been struck by lightning. <gasps> oh, shit. Can I inspire you fumble that, one? that my... con roll? No, it's 94, but my con is 80. So Let's that means it. that like a reroll is worth. We inspire it. Oh, come on. Come on. Do not aim me this. Five. 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 You are still conscious. Um, you have you have just taken a grievous wound. Uh, you are you you know uh, uh, every hair on your body is like smoking. And yeah, yeah. I went from twenty to five. If that gives anybody cool. any indication of what happened there. All right, that was one twenty eighty. Donald, right. oh, is there any other liquid around? Any other bottles? Any uh, just. Uh, is, this, uh, is there Emma's got a bottle of vodka. That's it. Yeah. Oh, wait, are you, wait, are you in Emma's room? No. no Emma, there would not be a full bottle in Emma's room. Maybe the are, only bottles in here that are full are the ones Emma brings in. We are <laughs> in in my room. Oh, okay. Um, there's knives. Yeah, there's there. Are, you see several knives. <laughs> wait, for perfume. A perfume. Do we have perfume in here at so, all? So, I, 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 what, what is, what is the uh, lavatory situation? Do we it's have? Communal. It's communal. Okay, so we'd have to go out in order to get it. But does, yeah. Emma have, does Emma have any other bottles? Or is it Make me a luck roll. I was supposed to say, you can take the one off my hand. I'm literally laying there, like, oh. however I fell over, I'm just like... Zero four. <laughs> Zero four. All right, yeah. You find some perfume that you think is mostly alcohol. I grab it's already that. in an atomizer. I, I, yeah. just, uh, I take, just pull the, pull the atomizer out. Okay. Just throw the liquid right at, at this guy as best I can. Uh, all right, he. I like that perfume. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not tomorrow. Yeah. All right, make me a. 
Uh, make me a throw roll. Of course. Don't it's fumble. That's... I got a 53, which is not a success on my All right. throw. So you get some of the alcohol on him, but he is not like it's, we... it doesn't start him on fire anymore. Can uh. we inspire it? You can. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm definitely going to inspire it if you want. You have agency. Ah, no, we, are sick- down, we are down to three inspiration now, as far as my tracking can tell. I still missed. So. This is Emma math. We had four in addition to that, so I got... Oh, yeah, you had four to start. Yeah, yeah. so we have seven. We had yeah. four to start. So we actually have seven now. Uh, you still didn't make it, Donald? So you so you pour some of the liquid on him, and it goes through the field, um, but it doesn't like start on fire. Uh, that was 80s, 70s. Okay, I'm going to like reach out and touch the field and just try to get a sense for it. All right, it seems to be about um, six inches out from him. Mm-hmm. Okay, but the perfume made it through, mm-hmm. and I'm not able to get a hand through or anything solid like that. Nope. Um, is there a book of matches anywhere in this room? Besides sure, the one the in 20s. my hand and the bottle of vodka. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Emma's got, yeah, Emma's got one, although all the matches just lit in the, uh, like, as she falls backwards, there's like a... <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm. I'm on. I'm looking. I'm looking for for a book for a book of matches and perfume. and another like. Um, yeah, you'll find a book of matches this round and a bottle of perfume. So next round you can you can do something. Why not? Uh, all right, 70s, uh, 60s, Joan. I I got nothing to do with this guy right now. So um, I'm actually going to try to hide in a corner so he can't zap me. Oh, sure. Yeah, you were like hiding behind the bed, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Emma. I'm going to just hold up my bottle and be like, because t- I can't move. I'm at like, I mean, I lost. Yes. What is yeah, it? You... Two thirds of my hit points at this point. Yep. I'm like, take the bottle, <laughs> take the bottle. <laughs> I'm like struggling <laughs> to get away. <laughs> Emma's like holding up a boiling thing of vodka. Isn't that like a healing potion for you? <laughs> <laughs> you Popeye back up. Actually, you're right. You're right. As I'm like, take the bottle. I was like, no, hang on. Wait a second. Yeah. Okay. Take the bottle. Right, yeah. take, the bottle. take the bottle. But first, let me get a hit. Um. All right. Uh, Ooh, back smashed. to one twenties. Um. Uh. All right, Alexandra, make me a dodge roll. Am I? Do I have a disadvantage die on this? Uh. Yes. Okay. Cool. Thirty-four. All right. <sighs> You take six points of damage oh. as, you are, you, as you are somewhat struck by a bolt of lightning. Um, and uh, and he'll say like um, uh, and and he'll say like uh, uh, once I'm done with you, I'll find what I'm looking for, and then finally, this accursed time loop will end. Hmm. Interesting. Killing and uh, yeah, that was that. 80s, Donald. Oh, taking Emma's bottle. And just All right, yeah, you've got a vo- bottle of vodka. Turn, just turning around to face this guy and then try to just douse him with the rest of the vodka. All right. Uh, make me a uh, make me a con roll. All right, here we go. 43 success. All right, yeah. So yeah, you get, you just start pouring vodka on him. And he he seems amused. Uh, all right, uh, 80s, 70s. All right, um, I am going to like, I'm basically, I'm, 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 I'm gonna go like right up to the shield and like spray the, spray the perfume and do, do like a little line back and then light it as quickly as I can. All right, let's call that a dex roll with a penalty die. Cool. App in the box. Neat, just made it. All right. Um, so yeah, there is a whoosh, uh, and because uh, um, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to like link the alcohols without being able to physically get through. Right. Uh, there is, um, yeah, there is a. Um, you made a regular success. Hard success. Hard success. Okay. Uh, yeah. Then he is. Um, you have lit him on fire, and he goes. Ah, what? It got his attention, at least. For that, I'll kill you last. 
Uh, and there's a weird smoky smell. Well, I mean, this room now smells terrible. Yeah, because, and we can't open uh, windows. There's several human bodies that have been uh, have been burnt. Uh, so uh, uh, that was uh, Joan. Back to you. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I don't know if it's going to do anything, but what I'm going to try to do is take a sheet and throw it over him. I like it. All right. Um, just uh, should do that with dex or uh... yeah sure make a dex roll with a penalty die ah ah okay yes okay cool yeah, i got right. 55 so, so yeah there is now a sheet like it's it's a it's not a man-shaped thing it's over like a little dome uh around him mm. yes Hmm. And um, all right, yeah, huh. Huh, huh, huh? All right, Emma. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. What is there anything else near me that I could potentially grab? Like at this point, I'm just kind of like looking for a knife or something. Like at this, yeah. You're in Alexandria's. Yeah, room. there are knives everywhere. <laughs> I was just if I can grab one that's close and then you know kind of get back and get close to I just stab him in the foot or the leg or whatever. Right. Uh, I'm so down the there. Same thing you whatever. stab down and you hit the with the sheet, it's easy to hit him, but it hits that physical thing and bang. Uh it doesn't make it through. Okay. Uh on a 120, you hear him say, fine. I'll see you tomorrow. And you see a lightning bolt shoot up through the roof of the Zeppelin. Oh no. And you hear a rumble on top of you as the entire structure of the Zeppelin starts to like go on flame. Oh no. It's at that point as you you all like in a in a um, in a brief moment, you all kind of look up and you can see the conflagration starting above you. That time stops. And sitting on the bed. Oh no. <laughs> you again. Why are you idiots even here? Does time stop for us as well, or we're we're awake? No, you're all you're all conscious. Okay. Uh, the doctor is, you know, some doesn't even realize time has stopped. As we cut to the doctor, and he's just like feeding soup to the. <laughs> um, you hear there's a shudder, doctor, and you you hear like a foomph kind of noise, and you're on mute. <laughs> Oh, I'm just I'm 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 pondering what they might have done. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Why do you have any idea how unlikely it is for Constance to get caught in a time loop? It's not very pleasant, I'll tell you that. The rules of time travel are so Byzantine already, and you managed to go and cock them up anyway. Look, well, we didn't mean to. But I'm just saying, give us one more day. Cause like, first of all, I gotta fix all this. Maybe two more days. Cause like, or maybe three more days. Cause here's the thing. I gotta fix my burnness. We've got to, I don't know, what should we do tomorrow? I mean, we haven't killed anybody. Like I, what a, ooh. We should do all kinds of crazy stuff tomorrow. So like today we should blow up the blimp and live and then tomorrow what should we do because i ate a lot of stuff and drank already a lot of stuff so blown tomorrow, up the blimp it's, yeah yeah we're, we're already saying, about to die but i'm saying tomorrow maybe we can like do something else and then we can Pop find the walking so, like, and like three days. emma no longer has a mouth <laughs> and i'm like oh. i take oh, the Joan, bottle. you've <laughs> never experienced the black pharaoh before uh, oh. Mick and donald both of you make me sanity rolls oh donald's that was running. That was running to the black. Yeah, yeah, they made a deal. Don't 
Yeah, I don't think I've ran into yeah. him in All person. Right. Just Joan, make me a sanity roll. Just missed it. <laughs> oh. Um, you lose eight sanity. Let's inspire that. Can we inspire that? Yeah, that's a lot. Sure. I'll re-roll if you if you if you fail, I'll even be nice and re-roll the sand loss. I am okay. okay. I will try to Oh kind and gracious DM GM. Of course you rolled a D20. So you could average a 10. <laughs> I've seen that happen once with, is, with wait, a sanity. Is this an Amy? Is this an Amy? Tom. No, I, I rolled the exact same thing again. It's a Oh, it's a Nick. It's a Nick. All right. Oh, you only lose seven sanity this time. So. Fight, flight, or freeze. So you, um, yeah, fight, flight, or freeze. Oh, fight. No guy is gonna no guy is gonna tell me shit. Make first make me an intelligence roll. <laughs> okay. A regular, just regular intelligence roll? Come on. I mean, yeah, make okay. Oh, I just wondered if there was any other die, that's all. No. I'm intelligent too. My god, these dice. Okay. Different dice. All right. I failed. All right. So um you are going to gain. Oh no. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Vistas have opened to you that you have never considered. There are extra planar beings. You see the galaxy in his eyes, and you realize this is a figure of prehistory. You gain five Cthulhu mythos. Okay. Which means your max sanity is now a. Uh, uh, it, now only 95. Unless, oh, you had Cthulhu Mythos already, right? I had one. Yeah, so what? 94. Yeah. Um, and you um, you are so overwhelmed by everything you've seen here that you you will uh, for dramatic purposes, you actually leap out of the, the hole in the Zeppelin. You just, you're just like, I can't take it. And you are out of the Zeppelin. You plummet several, a long ways down to the Atlantic Ocean, uh, probably to be back tomorrow. Um, I thought I'd be entranced with having a, a, a black pharaoh in front of me, but I said, uh, nope. The, nope. The, 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 I. Uh, the problem is you realized how small you are, how infinitesimal in the power of the universe. And that's a very hard thing for someone to come to terms with. Look, I can't win if you keep doing this day over and over and over. We would very much like to be free of, of this day. I'm like, mm. uh, it's a solution, though. It's it is a solution. Here's the solution. The serpent men, Sisic here, have stolen the Oculus of Set. It was an item created by a a, a very learned man eons ago. It was to help people who dealt with temporal instability. You see, time is very important to me. And temporal instability throws off very important timing. Count von Duyen is a constant, but he's a temporally unstable constant. And what you see with his sickness is what happens when temporal instability hits a constant. His watch made from that item cures that instability. The serpent men need it to travel back to their original time. They took his watch. 
that has caused the temporal instability to start up again. You, oh blunt instruments, fix this. Stop this day from happening over and over. Get him back his watch and let me get on with ending your stupid world. You said serpent men. Is yeah. there, are, are there others besides hair This one doesn't have it. This one doesn't have it. it it's, it's, there's another one on this ship. Yes, I know. Who? But we don't, do we want to fix this? Do we want to fix this? Yes. Mm. Do I need to make you go away as well? I'm, I'm, I'm reach out and, and protectively put a hand on his shoulder. I'm gonna forget all this anyway. It doesn't matter. I'm not one of your bloody constants. No, it matters very much. If a constant dies in a time loop, this whole, this multiverse ends. Mm. Uh, what about Joan and her suicide? Look out the window, my friend. Uh, it's gonna take me a few. St- <laughs> I'm in bad shape. <laughs> you like crawl over. I, I, I'll, 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 I'll help him up to, to, uh, to get oh, up. Oh, for God's sakes, mortals! He'll like wave his hand, and there's like an image there, and you see Joan screaming as she falls, and she stops this far over the water, and she's just constant, just screaming, frozen there. So what? I go up and poke him in the arm. Fine, you can talk again. So where's the watch? I mean, if you know everything and you're like a god, where's the watch? I'm not like a god. I am a, I am the, I am the. <sighs> where's the watch? It's Emma, you know Emma. The Just... serpent men have it, I told you. Who are the this serpent men? here is one of them. When you idiots, Made let him know that you knew there was a time loop. He knew that he had to get rid of you. If they kill, they think if they kill the constants, the time loop ends. They want the time loop to end as much as you do. <laughs> Sissick and the other crewman, the bursar, are the, are the serpent men. So, if Sissic doesn't have the watch, then the bursar must. Must be. Seems process of Did you have to write that down to figure that out? Oh, shut up. <laughs> yeah, hang on. Hang on. Let me get this. Hold on. Bursar <laughs> has the watch. And how, how am you... I losing to you idiots? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Ooh. So, I'm going to get. Go back to that in a second, but hang on a second. So how do we kill the bursar to get the watch? We don't have to kill him. We just have to pick his pocket. Yeah, but we also can't see him. Yes, we can. We saw saw the bursar. Exactly. 9,756,312 subjects in which you have no, in which you come nowhere near my ability. Killing people is the one thing that you might be better than me at, and you ask me how to kill him. I'm gonna give him a very smarmy little smile and get and, and curtsy. Yes, that is <laughs> I like, am yeah, good at that. I'm like the 1920s <laughs> equivalent of a high five, be like just anybody? <laughs> Nobody? Hello? <laughs> no, I'll I'll equivalent back. <laughs> I'm starting to become very frustrated with you, Mott. Only starting. We aren't doing our job right, Emma. You know the rules to the game. Play by the rules. The fact that you were able to find us means that the rules aren't as set as I thought they were. I'm omniscient. You're, yeah, you're, you're they're finding us. Listen, the, the rules bit I'm oh, still on. Uh, we, we close this loop. We clarify that little bit, perhaps. Yes, yes. You close this loop. You go... You do, you try and do Grey Dragon Island. You try to do Cairo. You try to do Kenya. That's how the game is played. You try to do Australia. Kenya, Australia, noted. That's how the game is played. So what do you think of the Stanford kid? Tell me. He understands how the game is played. He knows his part in it. And his part is so to boring. empower you. 
I will say that Carl Stanford does not believe you are the threat that I know you are. He underestimates you. He would have killed us at Grey Dragon Island if he if he knew. I'm rather glad to be underestimated. He could have. He could have. It does add an interesting twist to the game. Is the other aspect at Grey Dragon Island the one that that that, that was at Ho Feng's compound? My sister mother? Yes. Your si- That's a sentence. <laughs> What? Yeah, I was curious if, it, if if she actually went there. That's where she is. So is that little vampire girl like your half-sister? She's a ghoul, not a vampire. Get the terms right. <laughs> Carl Stanford has a number, has quite a cautery. You traveled with a gorilla for a while. You really can't judge. Flint, Flint is a wonder and a delight, and he doesn't eat humans, as far as I know. Yet. <laughs> all right. Look, I'm going to put you all to sleep. That means Ooh. the next day will begin. You will fix this, and the game will continue. That starts with you. I can't do it for you. You know the rules of the game. You gave us enough information to be pointed in the right direction. That's all we need. (sighs) I... I mean, I don't know how I have ended the world twice with you people. You need... you, you, You are... you are the diva waiting for your waiting for your opening note you have to wait until the time is right the the t- time is very important it's true oh is that vodka he'll like pick up the last bit of the bottle and... help yourself i prefer mead mm, i haven't had mead in a long time anyway Tej, really I prefer myself tomorrow, or was it this morning? Well, um, as far as you're concerned, it will be this morning. All right, let's get this over with. Good morning. It's uh, it's Saturday, May 9th. Okay. Um, Emma, Joan, so, um, <laughs> Donald, you wake up feeling fine. Joan, yes. you wake up screaming yes. as you are yes. falling. And ah. uh, you are... Uh, a plunging and and you're in your bed. Emma, you wake up and you smell burnt human skin. Ew. I'm like and what's my um what's my hit point? Uh you're back to normal. You are back okay. to your full hit points. Uh make me a sanity roll. Wait, what's my sanity again? Oh there it is. No. All right. And a uh, fumble no? No, just our 71 no. All right, so you lose two sanity from just the overpowering, and for the rest of today, for the rest of this uh, version of today, uh, all you, you just keep smelling that burnt, like you can't eat any food today. You're just like, okay. the idea of food is disgusting to you. Okay, and that's fine, because I kind of walk around like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, and that is where we're going to end this episode. Oh. <laughs> it's time. I always end on time. It's only 9 o'clock. Oh, wait. We go to 9.30. I we forgot. have a half hour. What are you on about? <laughs> well, we I'm could old. stay there. That would... I, I, I'm I, old. It's a good it place work. to end, but no. It's a good place going. to end. So, um, no, no. It, we'll keep going. So, uh, you you wake up and, you know, it's you go to breakfast. The count is not at breakfast. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, I, I, I sit up in bed, I'm just so, like. Some as pancakes and eggs this morning, I suppose. <laughs> no, um, wait, who remembers yesterday? Raise your hand. <laughs> I, everyone should raise, you guys. Oh yeah, I hand. remember yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. No, I'm sorry. I, do you, okay, and I go remember? back to eat my eggs Benedict. 
I, you guys see me, I'm touching my bed and I'm going, oh. Yeah, I was like, who remembers oh. blowing up the lamp? No, we, we talked about not blowing up. We explicitly discussed. Well, here's the thing, I had a no, bucket list. That, that's the time you don't remember. I had a bucket list and I'm halfway through it. <laughs> but unfortunately today, we've got some real business to do. Yeah, I had no time for pancakes and eggs. What, what business? But I will not just, please. That, that, that. That guy, we can't get him. We can't do anything. Which uh, one? The, yeah. You is this really the discussion one. we're having at breakfast? Yes. 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 Girls are very problem. concerned. Oh. Is, yes. No. No. But no. There, okay. Look. There was the guy who sat on the bed, and then there was the guy who was behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, Joan, the, it's all right. I don't need to know about your personal business. It's breakfast here. <laughs> oh, yeah, this okay. isn't. Let's just. This isn't talk for here. Boys, gentlemen, there is a very serious situation that you don't know about because you don't remember it. This is our fourth time living May 9th, and I am very tired of this. The Black Pharaoh showed up, and I'm going to look straight at Donald as I say that. Oh, no. Oh, what does he yeah. want? Did you make a deal with him? He wants us to, to stop, stop the damn time loop. Yeah, we have to stop <laughs> walking around. We have to get the watch from the bursar, period. Okay, um... What I, will, I, I, I promise I will explain everything in greater oh, detail. That part I, I didn't. I, I, my eggs. Oh yeah, that's Just, right. You jumped to your death. That's right. I forgot. That was that was cool. That <laughs> if I could have done that, I would have done that. But I was burnt to a crisp on the ground. Yeah. I, okay. Let's 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 back up a few steps. Just breathe, Joan. Breathe. Uh, what were they doing last night? We, we, we missed something. We, we didn't are, even get the last night. We are stuck in a time loop, the five of us. The three of us remember, the two of you do not, and we are trying to deal with it. Why, why the three of you? Because we're constants. Oh, jo Joan's a constant? Apparently. Oh. Not something that I knew until today. Well, congratulations, Joan. I, you poor he, thing. I, get, really? <laughs> I, because I, that guy. The Black Pharaoh, yes. That's his name? Well, that's what we call him. He's one of the aspects of the big oh, like, one. Like the black lady. Mm -hmm. <sighs> he's one of the aspects and he's an asshole and we hate him, but he he really enjoys the game. He, so he's helping us play it. That's one way to put it right. He has, he has an agenda, but it's almost like he wants you to help him get to his agenda or- because yeah, if. I don't know. He's uh, he, he 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 can't play the game and if we win. If we keep going over and over and over and over, he can't do anything. I am not reliving this day over and over and over again. What what, what happens this day? What's wrong with this day? What everything? <laughs> okay, Joan. Joan. Well, these eggs are pretty water. good, so they're not. <laughs> Joan, drink some water. I was say, breathe. I haven't like killed anybody or. <laughs> robbed it. What's the other commandments that I have to? I'm not going to sleep with anybody's wife, so no, I forgot that. Where are you going to find a false idol? <laughs> no. Well, obviously, uh, the yeah. Black Pharaoh thinks he's a god. Thinks he's a god. All it's right, adorable. so here's, here's, here's the deal. Um, there is a pocket watch that was stolen from the Count. Do you remember the Count from last night? Right. 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 He is very seriously ill right now, and it's because of a temporal instability. What is that? What, what, what is that? What is that? It is a time. He's he's time he's, is affecting him badly. He's not it's like well. Like drink too much. <laughs> drink not too even much a time. little bit, but I appreciate yeah. the analogy. Yeah. It's almost like he drank too much time. Mm, maybe. <laughs> All right, so um, we find this fellow's pocket watch. What, did they lose it somewhere on the? On the blimp, we just it, it was it was stolen from him by the bursar. All right, so then let's go rough this bursar up. Well, hold back. on, Emma, do not encourage him. Give <laughs> um, he, the 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 bursar and one of the staff, Herr Sissek, is the a snake, snake person in human disguise, oh. and they can disappear. Yes, so we we have to catch this person by surprise if we are to do what we do effectively 
So you can light him on fire, but you really can't stab him. And he shoots electricity and he blew up the blimp last time. So well, there's that. Why, why can't we, why can't Alex stand him, stab him? Why? What, what, he what has a, he has this thing there's, around him. That's like there's a, a shield. Yeah. But we can light him on fire. Yeah. Liquid. liquid. But here's liquid the thing. Here's the, the problem. If you get the watch and light him on fire, the blip blows up, but we stop time, which means we don't get to do it again. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Well, you yeah. don't want to get the watch and fix things and have the blimp be on fire without having another day to come back to. We it can't honestly have, we can't fire. It, honest, it honestly might be in our best interest to pick the man's pocket. Get the get the, the, the watch from him. Wait, wait, wait. What, what about what about um, drugs or um, or ether? Right? Remember ether? What about something like that? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I want to call the, the episode. Bursar. Remember ether? Remember, we had to call the bursar to get into the count's room. Yes. No. What? So, oh. So we call him and say we have an emergency in the count's room, and then he's there. Or then we uh we drug And then him he's there with. And then he's there with all four constants who are on this blimp. Well, we just need to drug him or knock him out, put him to sleep, right? And then take it from him while he's asleep. That is well, he's, assuming he has it on him. Assuming that that ether will affect him the same way it does a human. Yeah. yeah. I don't have Maybe. ether. Why not? What's wrong? What kind of doctor Why are you? I have ether. You need to start doing that. What kind of doctor are you? <laughs> What about what about morphine? Morphine works. That works really well. Again, would that work on a snake person? Yeah, it works well, very they, effectively they, on us warm-blooded people. Because they have a field, I don't see how I'm going to inject him with anything. Well, what happened? Toss his room first. So, and okay, then, wait, 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 but the we have interacted with the bursar and with Sisic, um, and they clearly yes. didn't have that field activated because right. you were able to like yeah. touch. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, 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 I don't think that the field gets activated until they feel threatened. And if right. we can so maybe by can... surprise and... Either that or, or pick their pockets. I have one more question. Um, do they remember do... any of this? That's my question too. I thought they said that they remembered it. I don't know. Because he said, I'll kill you tomorrow or something like that. Again, I'll you know, tomorrow. I drink a little. I'm I'll backing up the chair a bit. <laughs> If we can get him to, to let us into the, and then we, we have him there. We have the bursar there. We can pick his pocket or something. Dr. Hollister, there are, this, this is one of the things that Delta Green may not have prepared you for, but. Um, a completely incoherent conversation where I am not filled in on anything that you're saying and the things that you're referencing, I know only the bare minimum about. All right. That helps. <laughs> uh, the short version is that the three of us, uh, well, the five of us have relived this day multiple times. We are stuck in a time loop. The three of us remember, the two of you do not because of the multiverse uh, idea of, of, of the world where uh, there, are, there are infinite realities and there is such a thing called a constant where that, that exists in every version of reality. Emma is one, I am one, and apparently Joan is as well. There's more for And so is times, Count Bond. And so is I'm Count sorry, so is Count, yeah. And, the, and, and he is a constant who, who is dealing with temporal instability. The watch that was stolen from him helped keep him stable. Because of the theft, he is unstable, and that has put us into this time loop where only the constants remember what happened. I'm more interested at the end with the two serpent men who want the watch they to go back to wherever they came from. That's what they're supposedly stealing the watch to use it for. Yes. And the ones that said that they were going to kill us today. Well, they would see us again today. I think that they don't expect us to remember because they don't know that the three of us are constants. We've, so we've got to be quiet. We can't say anything about time does that, or snakes. Or... Does, does that answer your questions, Dr. Hollister? Does that help fill you in? Somewhat. Um... I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get to. You have to go and 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 and, and help the count. So you are all not going to. 
tact is just out the window is the sense that I'm getting. I don't know how you're going to pickpocket them if they're actively aware of you and planning to kill you. That is, is the question. I think they were aware in that time loop that we knew that something was going on, but if they don't think that we are constants, they won't know that we know. That's an assumption. It is, but it's the only one I can make. Time to find out, eh? You might want to try to break into the bursar's room if you think it's in there. All right. That so might. here, here, here is what I recommend. Then I think that um, the count is ill. He has he has a fever and he is hallucinating. He's mumbling the word constant and watch in German over and over again. That being the case, you as a doctor will be able to help him, and the burster can get you in the door. Yes, help the count. Oh, and then we go search his room while he's doing all the the helping part, right? Eh? Exactly. You. Well, you what, you keep what do I, what do I, what do I tell him? You tell just him like that. Don't tell him <laughs> just I'll, go like with, I'll go with you and say that, that he didn't Emma, he appear doesn't at breakfast. Remember. Oh, no, look, 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 look. Uh, I'll go with you. I'll tell him he doesn't appear at breakfast and we're really worried about him. And can we need to get in and find him? And this is a doctor. I can do this. Well, and especially since- But especially. he was fine yesterday. Why are we so worried? Because, because he didn't come to breakfast. breakfast and I was supposed to talk to him and stuff. He passed on breakfast. You, Joan, Joan danced with him last yeah. night. So, yeah. so, so, so you, maybe so just, maybe just dial it down a little bit. Yeah, take a breath, Joan. But, but he was fine yesterday, it. and now he's on the it. brink of death. No, 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 no. He just wouldn't answer his phone, and and he wouldn't come out. And I need to, and you I need to help him. You're my friend, and he's my friend. Joan, you, you, you can tell them what. what? Joan, just breathe. <sighs> breathe. All right. You can tell them what 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 you told them yesterday that the, that the count mentioned to you last night that he wasn't feeling well when you parted after dancing. Yes. And yes. then See? and and then and then you went and knocked on his door and he didn't answer. See? And you are concerned. Yes. See. I like that. Oh, See. That's what you I'm really so <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hi, it Helps if the doctor can keep up. <laughs> That's what I was saying. So yeah, no. let's do it. Oh, no. there are two different things being said. All right. So Joan, we need you to keep it together. Sure. I know. It, I I I, under, I understand. Believe me, I understand. Coming I face to face this. with all of this is a lot. But I, I need you. I need you to hold it together. I know you can. That just despite that guy. At, at, at the end of the day. The Black Pharaoh is just one more man trying to tell you you can't do shit. Yes. <laughs> he yes. may he may he may think he's all powerful and omniscient, but he said we were winning. That's what I keep coming back to. He said he couldn't believe yes, that he that I he was this. losing to us. No surprise to me. I, 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 I that that's news to me. It was news <laughs> to me as well. Believe me, it was news to me as well. All right. But he, but he said that we were winning. And that's the important thing to hang on to right now. He can't tell you what to. We, he can't tell you what to do, and he can't fuck with your mind, Joan. Not your mind. Yeah, I got this. I, I, I can, I can show that guy now. You Let's can. go, doctor. Go get him. All right. So you two uh, will go, and um, there's a. Um, you get like a porter who a uh, porter says he can let you in. Fantastic. No, we, we but we, we, we no, need the fine. bursar to be able to let us go in. I mean, that we can't no, just go he, into somebody's he room. He can let us go in. Yeah. I, we need the I bursar. Assure you, madam, the, the, I, can, we? We, I can get the key. Uh, the bursar is not required for this. If, oh. if it's a serious injury or something, then yes, we'll probably want to let him know. But uh, I will go and get the key uh, one moment. All right. Doctor. All right. Um, yeah, he'll come back with the key, and uh, he'll let you guys in. Uh, the um, the 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 count is in a very bad way. He is um, he's he's weak. He's dehydrated. He's not even mumbling now. He's just sort of. 
And yeah. I, I oh. tell the porter guy, see, I knew it. I could tell, I could tell this, he needs help. Uh, doctor, is there, is there anything you can do for this man? Let me, let me roll. Sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, regular success. Uh, th there are some things we can try, but he's, he's doing very badly. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, well, um, perhaps uh, I should let the person know, and um, if you if you will stay here, I will be right back. Thank you. He goes out, and as he goes out, the bursar enters the room and closes the door. Let's go. And he he Peace. he looks at he looks at Joan. Actually, let's cut to you guys. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's what we see. The door closes and the bursar is, is inside with you guys. Oh, you're here. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for coming. Um, so you are what, gonna sneak through the kitchen? The crew the quarters are behind the kitchen. Then right. yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll sneak through the kitchen. All right. Um, it's just after breakfast. Uh, should be relatively quiet until until the hour before lunch to start ramping up. Uh, I just rolled a ninety seven, so the kitchen is empty. Cool. Uh, so you um, you slide through the kitchen and um, you're in the hallway, and um, very handily the doors are labeled, um, and very handily most of the ranks are the same in German as they are in English. Um, you don't have to worry about uh, uh, Oberleutnant asked, uh, uh, you know. Oh, no. Um, so, uh, um, Lieutenant? You, you find the, the uh, bursar's room, uh, and it is locked. I'll, I'll, I'll just, like, in, like not, even, not even exchanging words, just turn around and keep watch as Donald starts picking sure. up. 28 success, regular. All right, yeah, you very quickly, you've, you're start, you feel like you've opened these locks before. Um, there's just a click that is very familiar to you. Uh, yeah, you, you open the bursar's door and it is a small but neat room, um, pretty tidy. Uh, and there's a, you know, there's a spare uniform hanging up. Uh, there's a log book on the table. Um, th uh, sorry, there's a bed and then there's a small desk and chair and a dresser and that's it in this room. Let's start searching. Yes. It's all, all spread out and search in sections of the, the room. Yeah. Is it so? It's me and Donald. Is is Emma there with us? Emma? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So the three of you are in there. All right. So yeah, we'll we'll start searching. All right. Um, you hear Perfectly. a familiar voice. Sisic says, "You won't find it." Whip around and look at him. Dagger already in hand. I just keep searching. Uh, he's not in here. You don't see him. Just keep looking. Do we see the wispy thing? No. Well. I'm going to light a match and kind of go around the room. <laughs> right? You just start walking around the room with a match. Um, he says, what do you want? The watch. What What happened yesterday? I don't know what, what happened what? yesterday. I don't know. What happened? I thought I reset everything, but... It didn't feel the same. Who, who, who are you? This is, this is Herr Sesek. He's one of the, uh, the crew members who is what we discussed. Oh, all right, right, right. You wish to see what I am? Not really. Who I am? Yeah. Not really. <laughs> so he is lying on the bed like this and he just goes and he peels it off and um, like, the cobra fold of his head comes out. He's like, he's a, there is a human snake in front of you, Donald. Make me a sanity. Yeah. All of you make me a sanity roll. I've seen and, this before. Uh, With Mrs. Shipley. Did Shipley take it off? I don't think Shipley ever took it off. Yeah, fail, fail that roll. All right. Was it Mrs. Shipley? Yeah, yes. I'm fine. Yeah, oh, yeah. You it's it's really okay. Shipley. Donald, you lose. Oh. You lose four sanity, which makes uh, us bad. Why don't why don't we uh why don't we re-roll that, Donald? Oh buddy old chum, old pal. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a re-roll if I got one. Yeah, let's do it. 
Yeah, 20 was a big success then. So. All right. Yeah. So everybody that made a success loses one sanity. Okay. This trip is um, sucking. I don't understand why we just didn't stay in our rooms. <laughs> we, because the choice was taken from us. We are eternal. My people came to this planet long before you mammals. What are you? I'm a serpent man. You couldn't pronounce my true name. So what happens if we cut some kind of deal? Because we both need the watch and I think that we could help each other if perhaps we help you get whatever it is you need, but we also need to get the watch back to the count in order to get out of this time loop. We require the Oculus. We require the watch. I, yeah. I thought you had it. That's why we're here. Don't yeah. Just... But this time loop, it's because there are constants, because the count is... Um, so how do we use the watch in our ceremony and still keep the... I have it. Let us take the count with us. Return it to him first. Restore yes, he will, he will have it. the watch the whole time. Where are you going? <laughs> when are we going? All right. When are you going? To a time before you mammals walk the earth. You see, the serpent men, we play the long game. Our base of operations is several million years ago. What happened? Myself and my commander were trapped here in this time. Right. The watch will get us out. Well, what happens if this world is destroyed in one year's time? How, how does that work for your long game? Seven months, actually. No, sorry. Oh, we, we, we don't wish to destroy the, this world. Not you. We're playing a bigger game. You say you're playing the long game. We're playing the universal game. Do you we're know about the destroy Black Destroy this world? We're not. We're trying oh. to stop it. Do you know about the Black Pharaoh? What do you know of Nyarlathotep? Oh, please don't say his name. <laughs> there's like um there's a, a couple of him. There's there he's a, a couple. There's more than a couple. There's a lot of him. We are working He has many aspects. They're all yeah. bad. We are working to seal away the aspects and stop what is about to happen. They're all awake right now. January. And Nyarlathotep wishes to end the world? Yes. The eclipse, January of next year. The hmm. world is the world is going to end. You say that 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 it felt like uh, things were weird in this reset. That's because the Black Pharaoh showed up and put us to sleep and reset it. He wants to keep playing the game. Hmm. I feel like we're playing a different game. Yes. But 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 regardless of which game we're playing, if 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 the black there's something I must do. He hits a button on his belt, and there's a boop sound, boop. and we cut to uh, the bursar in your. He comes in and he closes the door, and he smiles a very an alarmingly toothy smile. He says, "How can I help you two? This man needs fluids. Uh, a towel, if you can. And, and soup. He's very sick." I don't know if I can get him to, he's not even responsive. I'm gonna have to like, just drip like water into his mouth. I see. Hmm. And is it contagious? Do I've you... never seen anything. I, I, I have no idea what this is. Well, very well. Um, I shall go and I will have someone bring you uh, soup and some towels and water here. Do you require anything else? I, I think that would, I think that should be fine. Uh, not, not at the moment. Do you have any other doctors on the, on the, on the, on the boat that could uh, 
that could help? Because this is, you know, this is bad. Unfortunately, uh, you, doctor, are the only room that uh, you are the only doctor that we have on board. <gasps> I We have some crewmen with rudimentary uh, medical training. Could he... Could he have had food poisoning or some other kind of something? Oh, what could have happened to him? But it didn't we need to look like around. He was affected at breakfast. Yeah. Well, we need okay. to look. We need to. We need to look and see. Maybe. Maybe he. Maybe he has something in here. Well, I'm going to keep looking at him and wait for the. I'm going to. I'm. Can I? I I'm going to look through so his things. Maybe he took something that he shouldn't right, have. So you start looking through his stuff. The bursar, bursar stands yeah. right behind you. Yeah. Very close. And he says quietly in your ear, what did you do yesterday? What, what did I do yesterday? On the, on... I say today. I ate breakfast and then I came here to, to help my friend. Your friends will find my compatriot in my room. The watch is not there. They will be killed. You will be killed. I will kill you. Why? Why? As you say why, there's a boop from yeah. his belt. What was that? A communications device. Perhaps you will excuse me. Apparently you will not die yet. What? And he like, <laughs> he goes to the door, closes it, and you hear a click of the lock. They're not bringing the towels. <laughs> um, uh, um, back, we cut back to the bursar's room. Uh, if I had not pushed that button, your friends would be killed. We appreciate you pushing that button. I'm terribly fond of them. So, you wish to discuss some sort of deal. I must wait for my commander. Yes, sure. we, 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 we need, we need uh, the Count's watch to, to be returned so that we can end this time loop and get back to what we were doing. Yes, I think if you allow us to take the count with us, there will be no problem. That's fine with me. What do you two think? That's up to the count. I mean, I can't make a deal for him. I don't know if he'll be lucid enough to make a deal. Well, I don't think he has a choice. This thing has to end. I agree. So the, the bursar comes in and he like notes uh, Sissick lying on his bunk <laughs> yeah and, and, and at this point i'm perched like like, like i have a hit perched up on, on a desk or something yeah, we're all comfortable it's not and like we're feeling threatened at all we're like yeah. speed on the deal and he says very well you give us the count we must have the watch in our presence for the time ceremony to be effective and we will let the, the, the Count will have possession of the watch if that is what ends the temporal instability. But he has to go back with you millions of years? Yes. And that's going to end well for him. But could you teach him the ceremony and send him back? It's possible. Uh, we, could, we could teach him many things. I'm sure you don't really want another human back in your time or place or whatever it is. Might be nice to get rid of him, send him back here. Well, or we give him to the, or we give him to the Migo. I don't know what that means. They'll put his brain in a jar and take it to Yuggoth. He'll live forever as oh. part of their hive mind. I hear huh. it's fascinating. Is that something that can happen to a constant? I don't know what a constant is. I tip my head looking at him, just really interesting. The, it, one thing you learn when you travel through time, there are no constants. One thing you learn when you travel through universes, there are. 
I feel like we're playing different games. We are. Right, and, right, and, right. And, and the one that we're playing ends, uh, ends when this world does in seven months. Yes. Is there something that you people can do about that or help us in some way to keep that from happening? <laughs> You consider time as a linear concept. We consider time as a circle. You if say the world ends in seven months. Seven months is a meaningless concept to me. Hmm. The world will end when I am done with it. And I will be done with it when the world ends. Wow. If you are amenable, we can do this right now. And that will end all of it, do you think? I don't see why not. I've got no objections. It's, it's fine with me. It's an entire universe weighed against one life. Not, not a choice I like making. But... Again, I cannot stress enough, the Count will not die. Unless you feed him to, to, to the things. No, the Migo don't kill. You are I quite think... alive in the jar. Mm. You're entirely cognizant. You are, you gain the repository of all of their boundless knowledge. That sounds like insanity in a jar. That's a little too much for me. That's very judgy. Mm. It's just not a life I would personally choose. Um, Sisik, put your face back on. Will you come with us? Let's get this over with. Right. Okay, well. right. So uh, they will, uh, you hear, a, you two, Joan and Savannah, you hear a click. Savannah. <laughs> <laughs> Savannah's oh, back. Was two characters Yay. ago. <laughs> um, it's, it's your own fault, Nick. You keep trading uh, characters. I, you hear what? a click in the doorway yes. and uh, the bursar comes in along with the crewman who has killed you several times, Nick, and who has killed... Uh, you know, the rest of you. I don't know what you're talking about. The party. Or sorry, he's only killed you once. Sorry. Yeah. Um, and uh, you, um, you all come in and uh, the bursar pulls a watch, a gold pocket watch out of his pocket and lays it on the count. And like almost immediately the count, like there's almost like a superimposition, like he splits into like three and then kind of comes back together and he sits up. Uhrzeit, ausgezeichnet. Ich habe meine Uhrzeit verliert. One last time trying to roll. I understand what he said. He got the Uhrzeit. He got his watch. He got his watch back. His Uhrzeit is very wichtig. Weil ohne diese Uhrzeit um, habe ich, äh, wie soll ich sagen, Zeitkrankenheit. Would you, would you mind switching to English for those of us who oh, don't speak German? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, this, without this watch, I have uh, time sickness. We could tell you were sick. I have, uh, I have lived, uh, I have lived 700 years. Yeah, we've got some good news and bad news for you, fella. Oh, uh, why the crew? Um, I'm fine, thank you. And at that point, uh, the bursar and Sisik will both step forward and just say, come with us. And their hands peel into like green claws. And each one takes a claw and touches the watch. And then they both say three words in a la in a language that you your brain refuses to even acknowledge. And the count and the two serpent men implode. And then they're gone. What? <laughs> <laughs> there are more things society, Dr. Hollister. There are oh, more yeah. Hey, Dr. Holster, make me a sanity roll. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's 
Amazing that doesn't answer my question. Ama amazing things have happened here. There are what more is things than a vague question. I mean, what? What do you mean, what? <laughs> any of it? Any of it that you would like to explain? We're time we're travel. we're out of the time loop now, and <laughs> they, and they took uh, him with them back hundreds of millions of years ago. Does Emma have any alcohol with her? Oh, oh yeah, I'm kidding. I'm this like, is the best give, time. Give. The time to start drinking and passing. Yeah. yeah. So the good news is the rest of your journey passes in an alcohol haze. I mean, uh, I, 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 I do want to try and 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 get back with the band yeah, after sure. yeah. after all of that. The is there a point? At, uh, no. Never mind. Uh, the bad news is there's there's some. Uh, there's some consternation at three people missing on the uh, on the Zeppelin, two crew members and a passenger. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, there is, you know, there, there are some questions when you, you land in Berlin, but uh, for the most part, it is an uneventful, it's a mystery in the air. A mystery in the air, indeed. Um, mm -hmm. Two things. I, I've, I wanted to keep working with the band and i wanted to do psychotherapy with hollister over the like hollister yeah it now. <laughs> huh? she needs it now yeah well <laughs> i still want to try and check on donald yeah to see how he's doing after everything that's happened yeah so uh, i think that this is where we're going to end it we'll deal with the psychotherapy stuff uh uh <laughs> at the end of the voyage next time and the beginning of your trip to berlin uh so that, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, don't forget, uh, Monday, we have Dragon of Ice, Ice, Fire. Fire. Ice Fire Peak rolls off the tongue. It's like, man, like, it's like, that's, like, that's like a bad Mad Lib. I can't even spell it. It's honestly uh, really hard to say quickly. Dragon of Ice Fire Peak. Uh, I am very excited that James is going to be uh, the GM for that. I really enjoyed his work with the Mitten. Going to be awesome. Uh, and, uh, Tuesday, it's the Dark Vision Song Contest. Uh, come one, come all, watch me butcher D&D &D like I butcher, C boy, if you think I get rules wrong in Cthulhu, oh, 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 <laughs> just wait. Um, congratulations to Elder Brat and Damon Kitty for winning the, the giveaways this time. Uh, our quotes, Ooh. it's going to be hard. Yeah. It's hard. Um, that sounds like us creating an incident. Nobody wants to drug the count with me. <laughs> I'm just afraid he's going to commit me. Eat a lot of carbs, stab a lot of people. <laughs> that's that's got one tick for that. Uh, Speaking of slash and burn. Yeah. Yeah. She's been drinking. Please use this time wisely. We could commit all the sins. Tomorrow it will happen again today. Uh, who remembers yesterday? He thinks he's a god. It's adorable. It's almost like he drank too much time. Remember Ether, and maybe just dial it down a bit. <laughs> I really like maybe just dial it down a bit. Uh, that one's good. I really like tomorrow. It will happen again today. That is my uh, uh, that is that is my personal favorite. But who remembers yesterday is also kind of good. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll 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 see what uh, YouTube. Tell us what you think uh, the the title should be. We love. Thank you, YouTube, for your comments, your likes. It's great. If you are not a uh, if you're not a part of our YouTube channel, jump on there. Uh, get subscribed. You can see this game. You can uh, you can see the Chaos Agents from the beginning. Mm -hmm. You can see Natural One from the beginning. You can see a bunch of board games that we've played on there. There's all sorts of stuff on uh, the YouTube channel, uh, and uh, I think that's it for that's it for announcements. Um, so yeah, I will uh, I will see you on what time do we play on Tuesday? I don't actually know. Seven. You play a different time, yeah. right? Oh, the same. Seven. Six? Seven. Oh, seven. All right. Oh, I get to sleep in. Yeah. Call and call times at six. The 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 game starts at seven. Yeah. There you go. Uh, that is a different time. I get it. It's an hour later. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, God. So we play until 10? Yeah. Oi. It's tough. 10 30. 10 30, man. I'll kill him early and go home. That's fine. Just kill, <laughs> it's kill him by 10 o'clock. Totally good. Yep. It's going to be the grumpy old man death at a certain point. What time is it? You're all dead. <laughs> Are there the lights that hang from the ceiling? 
<laughs> what are those called? Because uh, uh, instead of rocks fall. Oh, Lico's. I don't know if we, I don't think we said this on here, but I'm going to end with just, uh, so we, we, we all get together in Zoom beforehand. And I had earlier this week come up with this plan for this episode. And 10 minutes before we're going to go on the air, uh, I go, oh, what's the date today? And Nick goes, oh, are we going to do a Groundhog Day thing? And I had to like walk over to Rachel and be like, how the hell does he know? What the? Your brains are like hardwired together or something, yeah. which is terrifying on multiple levels. <laughs> that was epic. Uh, uh, I can't believe that, that uh, Nick was right there. That was that was something. Uh, so we will be back next week. I'll be back on Tuesday with some of these folks. And uh, yeah, we will see you when we see you. Goodbye, internet friends. Bye.